Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me now? Oh, that was an echo. All right, it should be fixed now. All right, let me start this again. I hope Weird Ludi is here too. Si, senor. I am of Zahir, y'all. All the way in Kentucky, y'all. Hips, my la ba da ba da ba. Griffics, what's going on, brother? EHX, dance a lot, Nicholas, and everybody else. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the stream. Today, we're going to be playing some uh, Victoria 3. We're going to be playing it like we've never played it before. We're going to be doing a France Veld Conquest. Live! Live, we're doing it, boys. Live! It's a live event. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to stream. Uh, been flat out on your video. Aw, oh, thank you for watching the vids, man. Hey, what's up, Cameron? Sweden, Vanland province. Vicky, best girl. No, you. Damn, he got played, y'all. All right, give me a sec. Let me figure out my stream stuff here first. Uh... My phones and stuff, and then restarting so I can have my chat on screen and stuff so we can talk easier. Easier communication and Steinsky. How is everybody doing, by the way? How you all been? How are you enjoying Vicky 3 so far? You guys liking it? Not liking it? You having issues with it? I know it's not, you know, it's not perfect yet, far from. But I am enjoying it. Hello, sexy. Alright, let's set this up, boys. France will conquest, you're my hero. <laughs> You'll understand why France is OP. Uninstalled day two? Oh, well, you're missing out then. You, sir, are missing out. Alright, let's see what we're doing here first. I feel like I don't need to focus on military that much. I'm just gonna go for canneries and uh, fractional distillation so I can get mechanized workshops for the extra economy of scale. So, our money always tax the schnapps out of everybody in your country. Always, always. Tax on wine. And that's it. I might actually change these two taxes for something else later. Let's see. And. Let's go. We actually start with a ton of stuff. I mean a freaking actual ton of everything. We're going to change this to gas street lights though. Market squares. Beautiful. We're going to go for public trams as well. And we're going to need to get motor industries. But not now actually. I got other stuff I need to. Oh my god. Did I just see that? Did you guys see that? Holy shit. The amount of unemployed people in uh, Paris. Jesus crap. Alright. 10 coal mines, 7 iron mines. Not bad. Let's see what's going on here. Skirmish, cargo. Beautiful. Wooden passenger carriers. Alrighty. And let's go with an extra... I don't know. Up to 15 in Paris for now for constructions. We are set to uh, iron frame rate. Yes, we are. Beautiful. Let's see what our shortages are. We got shortage of fertilizer, transport. That's it, I guess. So we're going to focus on that first. This is why the fertilizer. We're going to do 10 fertilizers and transport. We're going to need some. Do we have anywhere that we need extra market access? Glass transport fertilizer. Okay, we're good. French minor war. Yeah, okay, just put it in France. In Paris. Alrighty, my boys. Holy shit, we are strong as fuck. Let's check our declared interest. We're gonna be declaring interest all around France. I mean, uh, Africa and um, Asia. All that schnapps. All the good stuff, basically. There you go. So the plan, guys, is gonna be to... Um, Take out all the small countries first, right? So we build up our power base, take out the small guy, 
I feel like this is too loud. Is it just me or was it too loud? What do you think, guys? Oh no, we're sick. It was too loud. How about now? Is it good now or is it still too loud? Should I turn it down a little bit more? It's pretty historical uh, for the time. Uh, some things don't make sense for the time. Not only in France, but like a around the world. Like in Africa, a lot of shit doesn't make sense. France especially, some stuff doesn't make sense. Oh, we actually start with the uh, tax deficit. So let's queue up a few um, admin buildings too. So let's say... Um, one, two, three. Oh my god, the fucking population on France. What the fuck? They start with 20 million French and another 10 Occitan. Holy shit. Wow, that's strong as fuck. Um, Alright. Let's go. Oh, let me do my relations. Uh, I'm going to improve with the Austrians for now and with the uh, Russians. That's it. Glass shortage, no problem. We're gonna fix that up quick. Avec le gras. And we're gonna need steel. We're gonna need a lot of shit. Don't worry. We'll build we'll build everything. Not to be worried. Alright, let's check our legislation, boys. France starts with surprisingly great fucking uh legislation. Like they have almost end game legislation from the beginning. They got public schools, you never need to change this. They have uh, child labor allowed. I'm kidding. You need to change this. No, but they have served them abolished, which is really easy gameplay then. Uh, slavery banned as well as amazing property women, which means you get 5% extra workforce, which is insane. Uh, wealth voting again is really good. Professional army, national guard. Uh, protectionism, interventionalism is not bad. I will switch this to less affair and this one to mercantilism. Actually, let me do that first, I guess. I need anything else. Dedicated police force is not bad. It's actually the best one. Militarized is not bad also, actually. Uh, per capita taxation is perfect. You want to switch to proportional taxation mid-game. So, yeah, they, they really have a fucking amazing start, dude. Like, holy shit, they're strong as fuck. All right. We got a few shortages here and there. We are good, though. We'll fix it. Not to worry. Let's go. Add you African colonies. Uh, what do you mean? Add your African colonies. Everyone done a world conquest for this yet? No, I don't think so. Soberman, what's up? Take over Great Britain. We will eventually. Which building I should help out? Should help out financially? Uh, watch my videos. It depends on your situation, to be honest, man. You should switch from the Victoria Three policy, property to women to legal guardianship to ensure a steady increase of population. It doesn't actually affect population, though. Does it? I don't think it does. I don't think it actually does. Because I've been switching to uh, property weapon, wi weapon, women quite a while uh, in my most of my playthroughs. And it didn't affect my population growth. In fact, it's grown even more. It doesn't really affect it much. The workforce is a big deal too. It's almost like uh, they were the second power. I know, right? How much you have so much? How do you have so much money as France? Um, you start with that much money from the beginning. That's your actual starting money. All right. Uh, let me queue this up a little bit in the front. Gonna need... No, actually, it's fine. We are gonna put these at the bottom, the chemical plants that are not yet uh, on their way to be built. And then after, we're gonna need to queue up a lot of um, iron mines. And a few more glassworks. So let's say, where's my glassworks at? We got one here. Let's go another five in Languedo. And we're going to need tools. So let's do tool workshops. Six in here. Six in here. Holy fuck, man. France is ridiculously strong. Legit ridiculously strong. All right. Inefficient agri agriculture. Beautiful. Plus 5% birth rate. It does? Really? No fucking way. Oh, I never noticed that. Let me check. Oh, you're right, dude. Plus 5% birth rate. That's not bad. I still w prefer to go for a workforce ratio. Because the way that you actually get population in this game, you get more population from migration than you get from birth. 
In fact, I personally choose to ignore birth. In most cases, I just leave it as it is. Whatever the hell happens, happens. Hey, what's up, Stefan? Because um, the amount of pops from migration is huge, dude. It's like literally insanely huge. Why YouTube? Twitch is better for streaming. I want to try a little bit of YouTube streaming as well. I, I'm streaming on both. I mean, now I'm only on YouTube, but I'll go back to Twitch eventually. Stream. Literally one month ago, GB is easily the most OP nation. But even as them, war conquest is impossible. Ludi now. I've learned a lot more in the meanwhile, Marcus. How, how are you, by the way, man? Um, I, I've, I've learned a lot more about the game in the meanwhile. Like, I have to say that I was a little bit ignorant at the start. Because I didn't really understand everything very well. It's still going to be really close. I might I, I might not even get it. Who, who knows, right? But um, I'll try. I'll try my best. And I feel like France is the best option. Since they are the strongest nation in the game at the start. By far the strongest. Uh, okay, we got interventionalism. We're gonna go to laissez-faire But we got other things we want to focus on first. Let's say No, you know what everything's pretty okay actually dude Legit let's go laissez-faire fuck it so let's say fair you get because the meta for VK3 is essentially be knee deep in fucking loans to grow your economy, right? To grow your GDP. That's exactly what we're going to be doing today. All right, let's go another 15 here. Beautiful. And I'm going to need more transport, more railways and the capital yield of France. Two more for now. Hey, what's up, Bose? How you doing, bro? No music? We have music in the background. I've always liked YouTube streaming better. It's not as choppy for me, and the picture quality is better. Try playing as a uh, Buganda. Um, I, I have not played as Buganda yet, no. Hi from Hungary. Love the Hungarian E4 campaign. So funny and powerful. Love to see that in Viki 3. Appreciate that, bro. Um, I'm going to do a Austria into Austria-Hungary eventually for Viki 3. So I expect that to come. Got quite a few videos actually done already. Just need to edit them, I guess. What is a uh, world conquest of Viki 3? Puppeting the entire world, essentially. Being debt to have growth sounds like modern economy. Yeah, pretty much it is. What estate did you take? Uh, what do you mean, what estate? How are you doing, Testing man? There's no estates in this game, sir. Excuse me, mon ami. gonna need some iron right now after I finish this one come on go all right beautiful let's see what can we change here reform our government armed forces no intelligentsia no how about you take some of these fuckers out how does that sound oh that sounds good actually now we can bring in the armed forces oh yes baby oh yeah petite bourgeoisie no. How about Catholic Church? No, I don't want to land on this. What would this change, though? Mina, thank you for the 10 run. Will you play uh, with Valencia and Vicky 3 in the future? I will, for sure. I will. Um, I actually already did. I I'm, I need to edit the video. I've already done a Romania run. It was pretty fun. Colonial Romania. No border loans. I know, right? Conquer Savoy Historical. We will, sir. We will. Don't worry. Not to fear. All right, let's see what this does. Not much of a change, but better than nothing. Two extra legitimacy. Legitimacy, essentially, in case you didn't know, is uh, what you need in order to um, pass legislation faster. So this ticks faster if you have higher legitimacy. Come on, where's my construction sectors? I'll wait for this to finish, then I'll queue up the construction sectors quickly. Let's check the journals that we got here. Survey the Suez already we can do. Okay. I'm not going to do that just yet. Oh. <laughs> Colonies growing. Oh my god, they're going really quickly. And... How is everything here? How much would it actually cost me to puppet the, these guys now? 150. That's a little bit much. How about these guys? 
91 is actually acceptable. These guys I cannot, I can't I have to decrease relation first. Bolster trade union. Have you ever been in Poland? I've been, but only once a very long time ago in uh, Warsaw. I think the text needs to be more obvious about which ones are in tier 2 and 3 right now. It's easy to miss the Roman numerals. No, it's not. I personally think it's okay. I like the Roman numerals. Texts. I think they need to rearrange them. That's for sure. But not the Roman numerals. That's okay. Like, yeah, see, this is tech 2, tech, and so on. But yeah, they need to rearrange it because it's a little bit confusing. But the Roman numerals is okay. I think it would look uglier if it was like 1, 2, 3, and so on. Would look too anglicized, in my opinion. Maybe I stepped. Roman numerals are fine. It needs something else as well. Yes, I agree with that. Maybe like a different color, like an outline with a different color or some shit like that. I don't know. All right, we got a lot of iron deficit. Um, oh, it's fixed. Okay, perfect. Let's queue up these bad boys in that case. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see. 55, 64, 70. Okay. Egyptian, Egyptian Ottoman crisis. Don't give a fuck. Let's also build up our ports in the coastlines of Africa so we have access to the markets here. Otherwise, there's literally no reason having these colonies. Damn. I need more construction sectors. Holy shit, man. Oh, no. Now they're filling up. All right. We're good. We're good. We're starting to play this now. All righty. Um, 70 battalions in stockpile. Let's uh, recruit some generals. One for here. One for here. One for here. All right. We're going to promote some of these bad boys. Let's go. You promote ski. I wish you could enter this and then it would be promoted. That would be nice. There you go. At least level two for all of them for now. We're not at war. We can promote them afterwards even more. All right, cool. All right, we're getting quite a little bit of production going. Now we can queue up more mines. And we also can queue up the market access in uh, Paris. One of them quicker. How about our market? Let's see what's going on here. So expensive goods, iron and tools, of course. There we go. Let's go with 10 over here. Another 10 here. 16 actually. And that's it. Let's go coal. 10. 10, 10. All right, cool. Success and chance, beautiful. Your gold reserves are maxed out. Yes, sir. They're going to be a humble bundle for VQ3. I like the gameplay, but uh, 50 bucks is worth is too much for a casual game. Uh, I really have no idea, man. I really have no idea. I hope there will be, but you never know. Let's see. So you're puppeting Britain as fast as possible? No, no. No, I'm not. I'm going to try and go for the small guys first. Like these guys here. Britain might join. The Russians might join. Let's see. First, I want to get a decent economy going. We got skirmish. We got mobile. We got perfect infantry as well as artillery. We're missing out on iron as well here. Oof. Steel is going to be needed a little bit later, not just yet. All right. Um, let me use some of that influence points because I'm not using much of it. Let's say improve with these boys around here. I'm fairly certain I can get some of these conquered as well. I'll keep the Pope alive just for the memes. Just because I can. How many hours does a uh, world conquest take? I don't know. A few hours. The game doesn't, doesn't last as long as EU4, so it's fine. 
do a promotion. Sure. Well, Congressman, this game is so boring. You're boring. Boom! Destroyed with facts and logic. Um, I mean, if it's boring, you can always play another game. So many games to play. Well, you can play this game a different way if you want also. Nobody's forcing anybody to do anything, really. Ooh. How about this? And this. Oh, really? Why am I suppressing the intel? Hold up a second. I just realized I'm suppressing the intelligentsia. What the fuck? That's where my fucking points were going. Jesus Christ, I was wasting 200 points for no reason. Wow. Um, let me use the points now. Fucking hell, man. Let's go. We're going to go services tax. There you go. 50,000. We can increase our construction sectors. Let's go to 15 over here in Limousin. And let's get some more railways going. Two in here. French Kenya is isolated. Oh no. Avec les isolations qui. Forgot about French Kenya to be fair. Forgot to build the docks. Ludi, you horrible. You forget about them. How dare you? Where am I call at? Boom, 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 boom. Come on. I need coal. There you go. Why do you have ter why do you have terrible luck? I don't know, man. It's just how it is. That's the charm of it. Praise Ludi, Ludism greatest religion. Does lower market access gave you any disadvantage? Yes, it does. If you don't have market access, you basically uh, cannot get resources from the market and you cannot give resources to the market. So you need to have 100% market access to have the connection between that particular province and the market. That's one of the most important things. If you don't have market access, you're going to kill your economy and you're not going to know why. Because I've seen a lot of people on certain forums not realizing how important it is. All right, let's see. Institutions. We can go to level three education. We just need to improve a little bit our um, bureaucracy. So let's do that next. Lead. We're going to need more lead. Tools wood. That's fine. Sewing machines, that's fine. Canneries, that's fine now because we got the iron now. And this as well. Beautiful. The Blanc method. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this. I forgot the engines. Right. Before we do this one, we got to get some more lead going. Say five. Um, shit. I'm fucking maxed out again. Let me, um, where's my construction sectors at? There you go. Don't forget to take Quebec. Did you ally any German countries yet? Nah, I don't, I'm not going to ally any German countries. I'll let them unify. I don't care. Excellent idea, sure. Let's see. Anything we can do here. Wants to join the Republican Party. Oh, that is beautiful. We got 12 legitimacy just from them joining the Republicans. We got censorship. We can go for right of assembly, which um, is going to lower our authority by 50. But it's going to unlock guaranteed liberties. No, I don't need it. Fuck that. Not yet. Total separation. Oh, fuck yeah. How about multiculturalism? Yes, my boys. Let's go. Usually they go hand in hand. If you get one, you get the other one as well. All right, cool. All righty. Let's continue. So we have need for speed. No, we need tools. Let's get tools done. Where's my tooling workshops? 10, 10. And I'm guessing there's a shortage there because of food and shit. I'm going to need some um, groceries. There you go. And some more glass. Paper as well. More motors? No. I need first um, my railways. 
and I forgot. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Queue it up first. Beautiful. Let's check how's the market doing. Details. Most expensive is steel, followed by wood. Okay, that's weird. Really? Steel? Okay. Let's queue up uh, five steel nodes. And let's also get this up to market access standards. Nice. Beautiful. Does Andorra exist? No, it does not. Actually, there's a lot of things with the map that doesn't really make too much sense, in my opinion. Like, there's a lot of stuff that should be fixed. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? Don't expect too much from these kind of games at the end of the day. Because they're just games, right? So they cannot really reproduce everything perfectly. Gotta think a bit like that as well. Alright. What is this? They split already? Wow. What do you guys think? L I'll let you guys vote. Should we puppet or should we conquer the world? Puppet would be easier. Damn, a loody stream. What's up, Inquisitor? Need to subsidize the motors. No. Can you stop stockpiling gold? For God's sake, it's so annoying, man. Leave the world alone, Ludi. Why are you always conquering the poor world? YouTube stream and not Twitch. Upgrade. Puppet, puppet, conquer. Okay, we got a pretty mixed bunch over there. I guess we can do a little bit of both. We can do half and half. We got one isolationist as well from Max Young. Alright, most of you are puppeting though. Yeah, it's probably I'm going to be puppeting most. I'll do a bit of both. I'll do a bit of both. All right, let's see what shortages we got. Wood. We got shortages of wood. Wood needed, my lord. Meow. All right, let's build wood in areas that we haven't built shit yet. Like here. What the fuck is this? Get the fuck out of here, Salvador. All right. Cool. All righty, boys. How's this doing? Let me save this as well. And let's see. We should be fine. I don't think any of these guys are going to join on their side. If they do, then I'm going to have to turn this into a bigger war. I'd rather not, but it is what it is. Alright. There should be enough. Don't need to mobilize everybody. Um... Input shortages, wood and paper, the usual suspects. I think I already built this, didn't I? Nope, it's another one. All right, there you go. We went up to 74 million. It's a little bit slow. I should have built more construction sectors, I guess. The challenge for you, recreate the colonial system, form the Roman Empire, then puppet. Yeah, I was thinking to form the Roman Empire actually first. That's why I started as France. All right, nobody join you fucking assholes. Oh, you suck. I'm gonna let you get Bohemia. No, you want Bohemia. Come on. Really, you fucking assholes? You don't want Bohemia? Fuck's sake, man. Tyrol. You gotta want Tyrol, bro. You gotta want Tyrol. There you go. You want. I knew you wanted. Alright, what are we gonna give the other guys here? We're gonna give. When would you try Indian Subcontinent and form India campaign? In uh, Viki 3? I probably will do it at some point in the nearby future. No, I don't want two Sicilies. Fuck two Sicilies. Uh, let's go for these guys. Treaty port. Piemont. Yeah, sure. Doesn't matter. Oh, wait. No, Piemont's these guys. No. Shit. Okay. Thank God they said no. Um, Papal States. That would open up another front here. Which is not bad. I'll give him obligations. I want a front in the paper. Oh, fuck you. Really, Spain? Wow, they really trying to fuck me up, huh? We might have to reload that save that I did there. All right, conscript, assemble. And let's also set some more war targets, war deals. 
let's say what are we gonna do we're gonna conquer some shit we're gonna conquer sardinia no nah. make puppet out of someone no cannot how about conquer oh what i don't have fucking maneuvers fuck you man Oh, you know why? Because I used the maneuvers and swaying and it didn't work. See, that's a really stupid system. So the way that it works is basically you give maneuvers to ask people to join or not, right? And even if they decline, they still take your maneuvers. It's so stupid. So now I cannot use the maneuvers because they've been taken, but I didn't get anything in return from them. It's such a dumb system. Defaz, what's up, bro? When should you use the minion over puppet? Never. Always puppet. Can puppets join opposite side like uh, tribes in U4? No. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. in Japan. Ah, oh, man. That's such a dumb system in my opinion. I think I'm going to reload this one. Nah, fuck it. Not worth just for fucking Sardinia, Piemont to fight the half the world. Hmm. Let's see. Pope, what are you doing? Are you attacking? Are you sitting? What are you doing? All right, Modena's there on the attack, so let's attack. All right, let's see how it goes. We might still win it, even though there's a lot of them. Oh, let me—I forgot to pay my troops. Boom. I'm gonna lose a few battles, I guess, because I didn't pay him yet. Let's see what the situation is. They got line infantry, and we have skirmish, but we don't have enough uh, resources. Penalty. Small arms artillery. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, it's because I uh, I enacted conscription. That's why. I, I forgot I enacted conscription. Artillery. Boom. Boom. Small arms. Boom. Boom. It's not enough to cover it, but we'll build shit after, so we'll be fine. Um, yeah, let's see how these battles are going. If they're going bad, I'll just reload this shit. Oh, we won this one. We're losing that one. They don't even have a general? What? Alright, winning this one. And we won the war. That battle right there won the war, won the war for us. Um, okay. French War Reparations Puppet and Conquer Tyrol. Cool. The reason I say that that battle won the war for us is because the moment that you get the war target, in my case, that would be the province of Piemont, you get a ticking war score. You get like an E4 ticking war score. Essentially, the war score for the enemy side goes down a lot faster, the war support. Once it reaches minus 100, they capitulate. And they're going to reach minus 100 very soon. Because I'm fucking them up left, right, and center. So, Alright, speaking of, let me build shit. go say five and another five or ammo burgundy the famous burgundian ammo factory have you ever heard of it when are you going to form arabia and e4 in the future maybe the ai values obligation so much is pretty dumb um it's not dumb mm. I guess there should be more of a penalty with obligations. Bonjour, histoire, histoire oublié. Forgotten history. That's nice. I like that name. The maneuver system uh, makes sense to me too. Like you only have a certain amount of diplomats in E4. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't make sense when it uh, when the, the maneuver system. No, the maneuver system is not diplomats. The maneuver system. There you go. We pop it at them. The maneuver system is um, war score. So it's kind of like in U4, you add the uh, provinces to the war score to see what you could take 
and then you cannot add actually any provinces to take because you already added some provinces. That's the comp. That's the the way that it would be in uh, Viki three terms. That's why it's ridiculously stupid. Oh, we pieced out Spain. Okay. I could be an asshole now, and uh, despite having promised Prussia, I could just capitulate, get out of the war, and uh, let the Prussians fight the Austrians by themselves. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. What have the... Oh, US, you want me to ally? Okay, sure, we can do that. Alright, improve relation. Let's see what it's looking like. Wood, right? I forgot about the wood. Let's go 10, 10, 10. Beautiful. All right, we got our first little schnippeldorp. And we only have 33 infamy. Not bad. Kind of a little bit of infamy, though. Avec les Sardinion. The problem is that uh, puppets don't really give you much money. So you can see here, I'm only getting 8,000 from uh, Sardinia. But if I was to directly own Sardinia, I'd be getting 30,000 by comparison from uh, the GDP that they have right now. I think they have around, yeah, 5 million, 4 million. Because it scales with what I have as well. So that's why. French Senegal. Mm. All right. We're going to need some sugar and stuff, too. I'm going to build one in each. So we have some jobs going around. Uh, dye plantations as well. Let's build some. Just a little bit of each. A sprinkle of everything. So we have a little bit going. That's what I'm trying to say here. I think we need fishing wharfs as well. Yep, we sure do. Let's uh, queue up max, 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 max. Fishing works are good because fish is uh, one of the base goods that you're going to need for improving your standard of living as well, right? Because if you have over standard of living, you see what exactly they need. And then like if they're struggling or whatever the fuck you have over here. I found this out my last stream, by the way, from a viewer. So you can see um, furniture is expensive. Wood is expensive. Sugar. Fish. So let me build some uh, furniture then. Patent steels. Hell yeah. We need glass in that case. Right, so let's say 10 glass and 10 furniture. Boom. Boom, boom. Are you winning, son? I once puppeted Persia. They barely built any opium plantations. That's why you should directly own it. It's better. Secret police improve my population standard of living. Nice. AI needs uh, some work on reacting to market prices. AI needs a lot of work for a lot of things, in my opinion. Puppet and later annex that puppet is less than infamy overall in medium-sized countries. No, it's not, actually. Because uh, the moment that you puppet, you uh, get, like, say, I got 36 infamy for these guys, right? Once I uh, integrate them, I'm going to get an extra 20 infamy. If I was to take the provinces directly, it would be the same amount. So... It's basically a trade-off. You don't get all the infamy at the same time. That's what the difference is. So you can do more expansion at the same time. As consequence. Alright. What are we going to attack next, boys? Do I have a fleet? Let me check. 105. Holy shit. I do have a fleet. Alright. Beautiful. Let's go. Spain, Belgium. Oh, actually, you're not wrong about that. We should do Belgium. Belgium's super fucking strong, dude. Belgium's like insanely fucking strong. 36 infamy. Mm. Hmm. 1.31, 2.55 million. Yeah, let's try Belgium. Fuck it. Let's try Belgium. Let's fucking try it.
The English most likely will help them out. Let's face it. The English very, very likely will help them out. Let's see. Who's that? Oh, wow. Russia's helping them. Okay. That's weird. Nitroglycerin. Also, a puppet, then annex. They can't capitulate and you... Um, and give you a single province, though the AI seems to do that less now after the, one of the patches. They still do it a lot, in my opinion. Uh, but you are right about that, though. They definitely um, cannot do that, then. They cannot just piece you out and give you one province. So, true. Puppeting for, to avoid that is a really good idea. Fuck's sake, man. We still didn't get multiculturalism. Come on. 27%. Oof. Not great. I'm not mobilizing though. Fuck it. We can do this without mobilizing. Alright. Oh, am I paying my troops? Yep. Alright. I never stopped paying them, did I? No, I didn't. Actually, I'm gonna go for psychiatry first, because I need the bureaucratic difference. Uh Michael, thank you for becoming a tribune, dude. Holy shit. Um really appreciate that, bro. Really appreciate it. Ludi, I love you. I love you too, telephone bit guy. Just don't tell my wife, okay? She, she must not find out about me. Go conquer Germany and do some culture conversion. Is there a cap for standard of living? I think it's around 30-something. Well, what's up, Salios? France World Conquest is easy mode. Oh, you fucking do it then, MK. Oh, France World Conquest is easy mode, bro. I only do World Conquest with fucking Baden. Get the fuck out of here. Ugh. People struggle even with freaking Vicky, with France and Vicky 3, bro. This is not Vicky 2. Appreciate your videos, Ludi. Appreciate the support, Michael. I really do, man. Hey, Ludi, how old are you? I'm uh, 31 years old. What will be the next U4 video? I don't know, man. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. It's a national secret, okay? How the fuck are we losing against the Belgians? This is a disgrace. Disgrace to the French uniform. I will have you flung. Five years old. Are you playing on hard mode? Uh, no. I'm playing on regular. Why you increase army wages during the war? I increase army wages because it gives a, a boost. So if you have over here, it's, it gives plus five armed forces approval. So what does that do if you go to the politics and you go to the government... Armed forces is 10 loyalty now. That's 5 extra from the money that we pay them, right? See, it says there at other factors. It says plus 5 from very high military wages. So that means that we're getting 15% offense and 15% defense bonus. As well as minus 10% military tech cost because of that. Ludi salty mode. Always defaz. <laughs> Ludi best channel. I can't even do World Conquest in E4. Same age as me, Ludi. Best age. They should add a E4 to Vicky3 conversion mod for Mega Campaign. I think that someone's going to make that for sure at some point. If Ludi is 31 years old, so where is E4 1? What? Ludi at least about 8 years. What? What are you talking about? Alright, let's try and do a naval invasion. Um, boom shakalaka. Leopold Bosquetar. There you go. I'm gonna lose this battle. That's embarrassing. That was extremely embarrassing. I lost the battalions. Am I losing because of um not enough? No, I have now. I have what the fuck? Why am I losing? For fuck's sake. Is it just dice rolls again? Are you shitting me? Well. In fucking sane this game. All right, two days. We got the front going. Does that count? I think this counts, boys. We're getting ticking war score, aren't we? Yep. Yep, we're getting we're winning the war because of this one province we took there. Oh god, this game is so cursed sometimes. Uh, kid named a squirt. Do you play E4 on very hard difficulty? No, I play only on normal difficulty because it was meant to be played on normal difficulty. Bored with Twitch? No, I'm just doing a little bit of this and that. 
Uh, I suggest prompting all of your generals that are part of armed forces, even if they don't command anything. That will boost the power and make them give you 30% offense and defense. Promoting all of them. Ah, right, right, right. No, you're right. I, I should be doing that because I have the bureaucracy now. All right. There you go. Oh, this guy's intelligence, yeah. Oh, he's disliked. Oh, no, chat. He's disliked. Whatever are we going to do? How the frack am I losing all the battles? <laughs> this is annoying. Stop losing the battles, army. I had max everything in my uh, military as uh, Spain and still losing to weaker and less troops of France. Yeah, it's a mystery, the combat system sometimes, Michael. I also... like Look at this. And they got that province back. Fucking hell, this game, bro. Old Vicky wasn't playable without heavy modding. Oh, yeah, I know, bro. I know. It's hard not surrounding when playing as France. 100,000 Smurf units will spawn randomly in Belgium after you occupy. <laughs> yeah, right? Just like real... Um... Did my troops... Five units... Did my five units win against 43 Russians? All right, how the hell did I start this with 40 and they started with 80? Bro. I'll tell you how, by the way. It's based, it's a dice roll. I'm not even kidding. So there was a dice roll throw. I probably got a zero or a one and they got a nine. That's why they got more units than me. I'm not even joking. It's the same E4 system of the dice. It's just hidden in the code, basically. I really dislike when my allies get chosen to defend. I can have 300 regiments and one Finnish regiment gets to join. I know, I know, it's so dumb. I know. It's insane sometimes. Alright. Oh, need to build shit. My bad. No, I did not build for a second. Alright, let's change production. Chemical plants. Uh, let's see. 10, 20. Yeah, it should be fine. And let's get our railways going. One, two, three. I think that's it, right? Yeah, it should be. All right, let's win this battle. Fuck yeah. Avec la victoire for la France. Oui, oui. And we're losing this. Heavily losing this. Um, What are we going to go for next? Let's go for Quinine because we're going colonial as well. So we need extra colonial investment. Speaking of. We need to build more admin buildings so we get more bureaucracy so we can in increase our institution levels. There you go. I'm building them around uh, the entirety of France uniformly because all of France is going to need it. So, yeah. You have to have many battalions in reserve that you won't lose that many battles anymore. Oh, really? Okay. You need to try Yan Mayan, the small island to the far northwest. Oh, yeah, I saw. There's a... This one, right? Oh, yeah. I think it's that one. I think so. That's the island. Right? Is it this one? I think it's this one. Might be wrong. Yes, yes. Your battalions probably aren't at full strength. That's why you're losing bad. Yeah, I know. I'm going to actually put some of these guys on standby. So I'm losing a lot of units for no reason. Right. We're winning the defensive battles. That's good. Uh, need small arms more. Let's build a few more small arms. Let's actually prioritize them since we're at war. Let's go another five in here. Boom. Shakalaka. 
Yeah, I think the issue is that most of my regiments are not organized properly. Yep, exactly. Look at that. Shortage is not massive, though. Is the employment missing units? Okay. We're still a little bit ahead. We just need to make a little bit more leeway, though. Um. Oh, shit. Do we let him fight? Nah, fuck that shit. I think the Vicky 3 should have a mission tree like in U4 or Hoi 4. You need to leave Norway to independence, then switch to Norway, then make Jan Yanmei an independent, and then try. You need uh, reserves to fill the ranks. Yes, that is correct. I don't have enough reserves right now. I do not have the reserves. That's why I put some of those boys back. Um... Where's my steel factories? Here. Let's do another five. All right, let's see. What do we have in reserves? Nothing. Nothing at all. Mm. I guess I made a little bit of a mistake with my generals. I might just have to fire one of them. So my main attack boys here are in which uh, which headquarters? I think they're in the French, the main French one. He's 72? Holy shit. Both of them are 72. What the fuck? All right. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's a little bit difficult to actually understand the tooltips. They seem so fucking clunky sometimes. Like, really, really clunky. Like, the only way you're gonna know where this guy is is if you check his location here, right? To know which part of, part of which uh, HQ he's a part of. France HQ, let's fire this guy. Retire. Oh, what? Bitch. Get the fuck out of here. How? Just, they just took a massive chunk of my country here? What? So if you open the unit uh, drop box and you go to each unit, you can see uh, where they're from. Yeah, I know where they're I know that. My point is that it shouldn't be that fucking clunky. You have to open this tooltip to open the second, the third, the fifth tooltip to find out where they're from. Bitch, it should say here. French HQ. OC10 HQ. Wherever the fuck they're from. I don't need to freaking check nine tooltips to get the actual info that I need. The fuck, bro? That's my point. That's what I'm complaining about here. It's stupid as fuck. Like, holy shit, man. Whoever thought of it, like... Damn. Damn. All right, we got this. Poupette, we have a poupette, the Belgian, oui, oui, avec le ron ron. 51 notoriety, nice. So I guess next we can go Netherlands, right? Netherlands, how much would that be? Netherlands is 39. Do you know what? That's actually not so bad. I'm not even joking. That is not so bad. All right, let's uh, fix our shortages first. What do we have here? We got lead shortages. Okay, no problem. Let's get some lead. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's get another five here after. And da -da 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 we're going to need some cotton too, I feel like. Yes, let's go ten cotton. And a little bit more sulfur. Just two. Then we can continue with our textiles. I feel like textiles was an issue, right? Or was it furniture? I don't remember. I actually don't remember. Let me continue with the railways too. All right, perfect. We got the queue. I think we need to increase our construction sectors. 
and we can do more legislation. What are we going to go for? Total separation of state would be perfect. Let's go for that. Let's go for totalski separationski. Lead is fine. We'll get that. Low access. That's fine. Unproductive trade route. Cancel it. It's unproductive. Needs to be addressed. Sure. Completely agree that uh, at the very important information like HQ, R2, Deep, and Tooltips are the main use. Now you're winning with the fence. Yeah. I know. It's, it is how it is. And the log covering the outliner all the time is massively annoying. Very true. Uh, you, you know what else is stupid? Losing all your password and private data. That's why today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> Damn. Go make Switzerland puppet. Uh, please make a video where you unify Germany as Schwaumburg Lippe. I wonder if it's even possible. Probably very difficult. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. Maybe. I don't know. I really don't know what to tell you. We're in Paradox uh, planning on reworking the war system. When is it scheduled? I think they are. I don't know when. No, they, no. actually, there's no news about reworking the war system. There's news about in patch 1.1 um, fixing some issues. Not any rework for the war system, though. They're planning to do small changes to the war system. That's it. Not rework. Not a proper rework. Are you Romanian? Yes, I am. There's two battalions in reserve. Too few. It's pretty insane because you're far more vulgar and raw live than in your videos. Really? Is it insane? <laughs> um, I know I talk a lot of shit, but I cut it out in my videos because they're edited. So you cannot like sometimes when you see Hey, what's up, Ennis? Um, when you see like uh, a small cut after a sentence, like say, I don't know. Oh, these schnipple dorps. These motherfuckers. <laughs> but I, 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 get, I get my editor to cut that bit after, you know, because it's not friendly for YouTube. So. <laughs> but with live, it's harder to do. Anyone know if Ditmersion can be released? Uh, I don't think so, no. I do not think so. I do not think so. Actually, I think my next puppet's going to be somebody that has opium. So it's going to be someone in the Middle East. Maybe Persia. So, maybe take this away. Put it here. Oh. Yeah, it makes more sense. Van dueling. Oh my god, the Ottomans got their asses kicked here. They had to give provinces to the Egyptians. Bruh. Bruh. 48 infamy for this. Oh, uh, it's really not that bad, actually. Like, legit, it's not that bad. What's my infamy? 50. 42. Plus 48 is like 90, 90 right? Um, Persia. I guess I should do Persia now before they become a junior member of uh, Russia. Russia sometimes attacks this area. All right. The problem I got now is that I'm going to need to do a naval invasion after this starts. That's how it works. So we can add some extra stuff, though, like uh, banned slavery in Persia and regime change. Yeah, it's OK. Maybe we can directly take a province too. Uh. Oh, Kiva and Oman joined. Hails to the yeah. Let's puppet. Oh, cannot. Let's uh, conquer something. Omani Laristan. In Z Zanzibar. Oh, we can take Zanzibar from Oman. Sure, we can do that. All right, cool. Um, let's get one more guy so we can send him over to Oman. There you go. Did I just go over a hundred? I think I just did, didn't I? Ah! No, they're gonna attack me now. Shit. Yeah, I had a feeling about that. It's all good. It's all Gucci. Why are you mobilizing? You don't have any fronts. Does banned slavery add infamy? It should remove. I don't think it adds. Let me check. No, it doesn't add any infamy.
There you go, I'm banning slavery in all these countries. Boom, boom, boom. Take on my street, you port in Persia. Nah, it's okay, I don't need it. Larry's tiny mean, right? Nah, it's all good. Clippers and paper. Oh, okay. So we need to build some shipyards then. Let's say... 10 shipyards. That's your... Wow. Limousin really got screwed with infrastructure. Huh? Alright, cool. Is it, worth, is it worth to incorporate your colonies? Yes, it is. What is the brand of the processor? What do you mean brand of the processor? Do you breathe in free time? Sometimes. The infamy system in this game seems uh, to make world conquests really tough. Yes, it does. It makes it extremely tough. It does indeed. Indeed it does. Skibidi boop boom. Let's go for... What are we going to go for next, boys? We shall go for rifling. Alright, we pretty much got Zanzibar from Oman. It cannot even hold us off. Fighting off some interception... Ooh, okay. Well, you better win against the landing troops here. And you did. Nice. Now it's a free-for-all. It's a, it's an Omani buffet, as they say in France. I'm just kidding. Nobody says that in France. You might get banned if you say that in France, though. So be careful. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. All right. Okay, dokes. Uh, the guy's name is what? Theodore... And honor. Let's go with honor. Oi, fellow countrymen. Uh, when are you going to do the playthrough with Valachia? Laughing masochistically. Uh, it's already recorded. I just need to edit it. So it's going to come out in a while. Probably within a month, I'd say, Klausowitz. And thank you for the 25 runs. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Vicky 3 better than E4? No. E4 is better than Vicky 3. But Vicky 3 has a lot of potential, and Vicky 3 is a lot easier than EU4. It's like a very casual grand strategy compared to EU4. It's the type of grand strategy you can have fun with, essentially. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to try hard. You don't need to shit like that with this. What currency is that? It's a Romanian low. Have you ever done a World Conquest before? Uh, in Vicky 3? No, I have not. I've had World Conquest attempts, though. So, there's that, I guess. The world conquest attempt. Okay. This is what I have. Have done this. Um. Let's change some things here. E5 is probably going to be similar to the new Paradox games. That's going to feel really weird. Yes, I fully agree with that. Yeah. It's sad, but I, I feel like EU5 is going to have a very dumbed down system compared to EU4. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope that I'm wrong. But I'm probably not. All right, let's see what our shortages are now. Ooh, cancel all the schnapps. So we got clippers, motors, iron, and wood. All right. That's fairly standard. Iron, iron, wood. There you go. Should put this up to tools and boom, sawmill, hardwood production, railway transport. And tea plantation for all the British visiting our country. Whaling stations as well. Oh, we can have whaling station in Normandy. That's cool. I never knew that. Interesting. We need a game that goes uh, from 50,000 BC to 2022 every hour, I think. I agree, yeah. Did they announce a U5? No, they did not. 
It's a way to continue playing. Are you still having fun with BK3 after a couple of runs? I am, dude. I've got like 300 hours or some shit on the game already, and I'm enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying it. Thanks for the Bengal video. Thank you for watching it, Harold. How are you doing, bro? Does cultural assimilation still happen if you go multiculturalism? <sighs> yes, it does. It actually happens faster. <laughs> for some reason. Um, so, yeah. It does. The, be the benefit of multiculturalism is that you can in integrate other cultures faster. You can incorporate states faster and stuff. So, it's, it's really good. It lowers uh, radicals from, you know, conquered people and shit. Just, just do it, bro. Just do it. Come on, bro. Just do it, bro. Skibi dibi, skibi dibi. Army defense not bad, but what a tube boiler is really great for economy. So I'm gonna go for economy. I'm an economy shield. How do you form Rome? Can't find it online. We shall see today in the stream if we do it. Atheism is not a religion. Is there atheist religion? Yeah, atheism is not religion. It's literally... There is in the game something you could... It's not necessarily atheism. It's uh, the separation of religion from state, basically. It's um, this policy here. It's total separation. The one that I'm going for right now. Basically, everybody can... Follow whatever faith they want, and uh, it—it's not it, the state does not influence what happens when it comes to people's religious beliefs and shit. Secularism, essentially. It's a secularismo. See, si. what? Okay. Hey, 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 bitch. How am I losing this? They got irregulars. Not even properly fed irregulars. And I got skirmishers, bro. Come on. I call bullshit. <laughs> but uh, he means if uh, Pops can be atheist. I actually don't know that question. The answer to that question. We can check. I don't think so, though. I don't think I've seen any. Um, Animus, Sunni, Catholic, Hindus, Jewish... Catholic, Sunni, Catholic, Protestant. No, they cannot. That's interesting. I feel like they should add uh, atheists in the game. Because atheists existed back then. Of course, they've always been around. And maybe they should have like different stats. You know, like... Bigger dick and shit. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, okay? It's a joke. Come on, guys. Don't cancel me and shit, for Christ's sake. It's only joke, bro. Why you do this? Come on, bro. Stop it. Gvan Britain GB. So you can't ban religion. Well, you, you cannot ban religion. You can um, separate it from state, basically. You cannot go full communist. If you could travel to any time and place for one day, where would you go? I would go back to um to 44 AD I would go back to 44 AD That's what I would do Rome 44 AD Rome to be precise How are we doing with the GDP? All right, good. With the GDP. -P. Wait, did we enforce on the Persians? Hell yeah, boys. Oh, fuck you. What's your computer's processor? I have no idea, man. It's like uh, i9 something. 
it's annoying. Like, I have no way of actually getting to Afghanistan, even though Persia's my puppet and shit. I'm just gonna capitulate. I mean, my the only thing I couldn't do is just ban slavery in Afghanistan. So I guess it is Vasisis. Wait, what? Hold up a sec. What? Diplomatic play in Italy. What the fuck is happening here? Spain, USA, two Sicilies. Unify Italy. Oh, shit. Huh. Oh, this could presents quite a dilemma, doesn't it? No more fronts. All right, let's fuck him up. I don't like not being the war leader, though. That's pretty pee pee. Try clearing game cash. I remember the time when Ludi had shit PC. Oh, dude, I remember that too, man. No, I meant uh, 44 BC, uh, 44 uh, AD, not BC. I'm not talking about Caesar. I'm talking about um, after. Uh, the first few emperors that the Romans had, I would have switched over from Empire to Republic around the, after the third emperor died or around that period because uh, it was still the Roman Empire. It was still the same. The difference is that the imperial system basically destroyed Rome by the fact that the Romans got used to having one central authority which controlled the entirety of the world, right? The Roman world, that is. And because of that one centralized authority, what happened eventually was they always there there was always some asshole, some general or some leader of sorts that wanted to be that one central authority that unifies and controls everything. And that's literally the reason why the empire collapsed. If that was not the case and if they returned back to a republic, it would be very different. You think Romans during Republican time had democracy? No, there's no such thing as democracy. I don't think anybody today has a democratic system either. You just think it's democratic because that's what they feed you. Have a spoon of Democrats and Republicans, my boy. I promise it's not the same party switching sides every now and then so we control you. <laughs> it's democracy. Oh, but if there's a third party coming in, we're going to have to cancel them. They're a joke. There's no such thing as a third option. <laughs> Why waste your votes on voting for libertarians? <laughs> Fuck me, man. The manipulation game is massive in the US. When it comes to voting, it's insane. We got the rent. <laughs> I think Christianity destroyed the empire. I don't think so. I think the empire collapsed for a variety of reasons. The empire collapsed in 1453. I mean, yes, the end of the Roman Empire was in 1453 with the Byzantines, as we call them. But the real end of the Roman Empire was in the second century, in my opinion. I'm not talking about the language here. I'm talking about the, the actual values of the empire, what it stood for and everything. Holy shit, we advanced through Spain so easily with no defeats. Okay. We got a lot of radicals. Holy fuck. What's up with these radicals? Standard of living. Oh shit. Tobacco and wood. Still? I built how many wood freaking things? Jesus Christ, man. Oh, they haven't built yet. Oh my god, my construction sectors suck. One, two, 
one more month and then I'll build some more. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Winston, that is facts. Ludi for World Emperor. As a half Romanian, I invite you to Israel. A lot of reason, but the main one I was referring to. Well, we have like 150 political parties in Germany, at least five to six parties in the Bundestag from one extreme to the other. There has to be a balance though, man. It, I'd rather have 150 political parties than two that quite literally do everything they want without anyone fucking checking up on them. Dominat was wrong. I think so. Yeah Even the Principat was not amazing Keep your reserves in check. I will I feel like radical system is broken once you have a few they never reduce by a significant number They do they do reduce by a significant number. I don't know if you see my Qing campaign in my Qing campaign I had 30 million radicals by the end of the campaign I went from 30 million radicals to 60 million loyalists and less than a million radicals I'm actually not going to expand anymore after this war at all because the the high amount of uh, infamy is what's giving me a lot of radicals right now actually. Ski bidi ba 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 ba. I need to fix that. What are the chances here? 38%, not bad. Textiles need more dye. Don't you die on me, boy. How on earth am I killing all of these Spaniards? Oh, it's because they're poo, poo line infantry. That's why. Just capitulate already, Spain. There you go. Alrighty, boys. Let's go with dynamite. Well, actually, let's do all of these other researches first. I need to build universities. I forgot to build. I always forget to build universities. <laughs> it's like my Achilles heel in this game. I always forget to build them. Um. All right. There you go. Let's get say, I don't know, five. Oh, no, cannot build them in France because I don't have the um, pops. Let's cancel that. See, this is another thing. I cancel and then it fucking resets until the top. It's so annoying. Holy shit, that's so annoying. Rifling, yeah. Have you ever read the Bible, Ludi? I have, yeah. Well, it depends which one, though. There's a lot of Bibles. I read uh, a version of the Quran as well. Translated, though. Um, Ludi, stop. Don't invade my country. Can you make, like, 50 rivals so you have a lot of diplomacy and your infamy goes down faster? I could do that, yeah. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh fuck's sake! Even the US is in this. Are you kidding me? Fuck. I want to be in your stupid war. Useless, stupid war. Alright, need more cotton plantations. And we got an unproductive trade route. Okie dokie, boys. Okay. Making powder. Let's go railways. Click, 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 von click. Yes. Oh, I misclicked that one. Um... What did I say? I said I need, um, millets? No. 
was a minute, so was it? What did I say, chat? I said I needed something. I forgot what it was. Oh. Sugar? Holy shit. Silk? Oh no, cotton! I need. Chat, come on, chat. You're not paying attention. I am of the disappointment right now. Need to pay attention, chat. Come on. Die, cotton. Yeah, 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 cotton. There you go. Just tuned in. Well, what have you, Blob? Ludi? Love you too, baby. Uh, have you yet experienced the famine chain that hits you with event where one option lets you choose a stackable minus 25 degree cost? It can happen multiple times, three degrees. Uh, I've had that happen, yeah, yeah. Shame on you. Shame on me for what? Paying attention, me, never. Why France for World Conquest? Why not? Check your innovativeness cap to see how many universities you need. Oh, yeah, true. Oh. All right, so 125. Yeah, we got a few queued up. Let's build some more. I want to get this steel frame buildings. I'm going to need to switch to steel frame buildings. It's going to make a massive difference. A ton of a difference. Um, but I am going to need... Holy shit, France is so powerful. It's unbelievable, seriously. I'm going to need steel. Alright. And we're going to need also... More raw materials. So that means more coal and more... Iron. Alrighty, my boys. We're going good. Let's see what our infamy is at. We are at 77. Alright, we'll wait for a little bit longer. And then we're going to attack somebody else. We're going to puppet this time. Hmm. Maybe we can just puppet these guys around here. Maybe Argentina. My initial plan was to do it with Argentina so I can get a foothold in South America. Yeah, I think I'm going to do Argentina. So I can expand in all directions at the same time, essentially. The Radical Party formed. That's so rad, guys. Holy shit. Alright. Alright. Rice farms, you say? Mm. I'm gonna need more construction. Let's go. An extra four. And we're gonna need more infrastructure too. Three. I didn't have any in Orleans? No way. No way. Oh shit. Fuck me, I'm making too much money. Oh my god. Stop it, money. Stop making. So I have a lot of bureaucracy. I forgot to do my institutions. Shit. Come on, chat. You got to remind me these things. All right, let's bring up more construction sectors. Where should we put them? Somewhere with a lot of pops. And we haven't built much like here. All right, cool. How long are you planning to stream? Um, I don't know. Think you can still teleport troops to a front line if you set them to defend a border, then to attack? A lovely tool for putting down rebellious colonies. I didn't even know that exists, dude. Holy shit. 
Why Ludi has never condemned Pearl, Pearl Harbor, you idol. Why Jorge Martin has never condemned Joe. What's wrong with uh, marking a lot of making a lot of money? Well, you don't want to be making that money. You want to be on a deficit so you can, you know, you should be investing all of that into your economy. Wants to join the radical party. Wants to also join the radical party. Also wants to join the radical. Holy shit, everybody wants to join the radical party. And we have everybody a part of our government now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. All right, child labor allowed. I want to not allow it. But at the same time, I want to do other stuff. Let's see what we can do. Don't care about this. Oh my god, look at this. 103,000. We. Avec le. Skibidi boop. Um, how is this going? Fertilizer. Oh my god, that's insane. That's actually freaking insane. Do you guys see that? We gained so much from switching to that. Like relative production and shit. Insane. In the membrane. Insane in the membrane. So after we get this tech, everything's going to change because we're going to start snowballing like crazy. Why you stream on YouTube? Why not? Have you tried to get a very hard achievement such as play a sick empire? Um, no, not yet. Which very hard achievements are there? Let's see. I got this one. Why is it not shown unlocked? No, it's unlocked. It's just that color. Why? Oh, it's because I'm not able to get it as France. Okay, that makes sense. An empire under the sun. Very hard achievement. American territory started as Indian territory. Oh, this is the hardest achievement. Holy fuck, that's hard. Have the USA as a subject. That is really hard. Maybe in the future I can do. Yeah, that is definitely the hardest. The Indian territory one. That is close to impossible. Like, I guess the only way you could do that achievement is... Um, by... Um, grabbing these areas when... Uh, fuck, I don't even know how. Attacking Texas when they're at war with Mexico, I guess. And taking some land. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I highly suggest playing with mods, especially some of the UI mods, which fix more fixes. Vive la France. Absolute monarchy or leave the game, man. Abolish monarchy or leave the game. Flamenco. Um, are you a monarchist? Is that what you're trying to tell me here? Are you one of those guys that leave, li lives, breathes, and farts monarchy out of their button? Are you one of those... Long live the queen. Oh, sorry. King person. Is that what's, is that what's going on? Because I'm not. I have one coming, Damien. I have one. It's for Moldova, though. It's not for Valachia. I will do a separate one for Valachia eventually, too. Um... But yeah, I'm from the Moldovan part. I'm from Galatz, so that's why I did Moldova. But it's literally the same shit. Long live the queen. Not funny t uh, too soon. Poor taste. Oh, because she's dead. I literally did not do that intentionally. Hard card. How's your taxes, by the way? Oh, uh, they're good. We got high taxation. Yeah, we can get an extra five approval from these two parties. I guess that's not bad. It's worth it. We got a lot of money as it is anyway. All right. Um, next, let's go with civilizing mission or pan nationalism. We need military tech. We need some military tech. Let's go with this first. All right. Um, wonderful idea. Great. Let's also change over to the steel frame buildings. All righty. Amazing. Okay, dopes. 
Armagnac, and French Lindy. Where is Lindy? I know where Armagnac is. I don't know where Lindy is. Is it here? No. Is it here? Oh, it is here. <laughs> Alright. Proportion or taxation? Hail to the yeah. Have a lot of money. Why don't you make a uh, lower tax? Because I don't want to. I'm a horrible leader. I'm taxing the shit out of them because I can. Why do you think real life governments tax the shit out of you? Do you think they need it? To buy another Porsche? They do it because they can. Just how the world works, okay? I'm just trolling, by the way. I know some of you get really emotional about this shit. No, not my government. My government only wants the good for me, bro. Shut up. Grow up. Make France great again. Donald Ludi. <laughs> Ludi et in cap. <laughs> uh, I just got here. Have we made Napoleon proud yet, Ludi? Yes, we have. Is it because he's role-playing France? Exactly. I mean, because I'm a French nobleman. Or whatever the hell they have here. Oh shit, I forgot to put shit in the queue. Just like the French did. Oh no, 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 no. Right, so let's see what we got the uh, market issues. We got steel, sulfur, textiles, and tools. Alright. So for steel... and for, Okay, so we're gonna need this for sure though. Lead. That's gonna be needed. We're also gonna need iron. Actually, we have enough now. Okay, that's fine. Let's go with uh, steel in that case and textiles. The textiles is this. So we're going to go 30 in burgundy. Burgundy is known for textiles. If it's not, shut up, okay? How do you know? Build the legs industry. What? We're going to need paper mills because we need paper for the um, admin buildings. No, not there. Shit. I built it in the wrong place. And we're going to need um, steel because we're going to need steel for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> steel is insanely important. And we don't have much of it. So let's go 20. Boom shakalaka. We got 100 queued up. Amazing. Let's go breach loader because we're going to be expanding a little bit. 25% wear exhaustion from casualties is good in our situation because of the expansion that we're doing. All right. You see how fast our economy is growing? We're literally getting rid of the minus 30 something thousand by building all this shit that we're building in the country. It's literally insane how fast we snowball as uh, France. Impeachment as Ludi number one. Good night, yo. See you later, Luis. Have a great night, bro. Well, your France is half the size of Napoleon's. Is it, though? You haven't seen the whole France if you just got here, then. Um. Alright. 50. Alright, we can do another war. 50 plus 4191. Yeah, we can do that. Popet avec le popet. Let's go. Oh, I see how it goes. Huh, forgot about their colonies. Is this also stream in Twitch? No, it's only on YouTube. Uh, Twitch, I got other streams. In two days, we're streaming on Twitch. Why pay higher salaries to government employees? What bonuses do you get? So you get bonuses for your intelligentsia and for your, um, I think, industrialists. No, Petite Bourgeoisie, sorry. So you can see here, um, the Petite Bourgeoisie is giving is getting plus five factors from uh, me paying them extra. 
I'm not getting any bonuses because I don't have at least, I think like five I need at least or 10 at least. And then I get bureaucracy bonus. If I, if I have plus five, I get bureaucracy bonus. If I have plus 10, I get loan interest reduction, which is huge. One of the biggest bonuses you can get from your government, by the way. Um, and then if it's minus five, it's a problem. And you get radicals from discrimination. If I don't pay them, I'm literally going to reach minus five. Well, I'm going to reach minus two. And then if I get a bad event, I reach minus five and I get this radicals from discrimination, which is huge. So I'm trying to avoid that. Might as well because I have the money to do it, right? Same thing for Intelligentsia because I have plus five extra, it goes up to 13. So I get uh, Migration Attraction, which is huge because it grows the population by a lot. And we also get the Society Tech Cost Reduction, so we research shit a little bit faster. So, worth it. Hey, what's up, Philip? Luli likes having gold. Luli likes Udon. I like Mitch too. What's the plan? The plan is to conquer everybody, sir. That's the plan. Make everybody French again. Also increases wages, increases quality of life, and the money that's spent on goods. Yes, that is also true. That is a byproduct of it as well. That is correct, yeah. Um, ooh, he's not sick anymore. Wait, did we pass our politics? Oh, we got to get a new one. So what are we going to go for here, guys? Shall we go for child labor restriction, which is going to lower our mortality rate from plus 5 to plus 2, which is huge. We get plus one max education as well. No, I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to enact this because I need the plus one education. Right now, my education level is at level three. I want to get it to level five as soon as possible so I can um, get, you know, above 50% literacy. Uh, let's go for law, law enforcement too, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Law enforcement as well. We're going to need to build some more admin buildings as consequence. The admin Boldong. Boldong admin. Admin Boldong. Where? Holy shit. I still need railways here? Christ's sake, man. Alright, let's see who is on their side. Um, guessing. Oh, the Austrians. What? Did not. Expect that at all. Um, what are we going to do, chat? Shall we take stuff from the Austrians? Actually, we cannot because we're already at 100 infamy again. Um, how about we... Uh, no regime change. It's almost the same shit. Let's open market for the Austrians. Let's open their market. I think that's the best option. If we open the market in uh, Austria, we um, we can crush their economy a little bit. Because I think they start with uh, mercantilism, don't don't they? Let's check their politics. Yeah, they start with mercantilism. So that means that they get 10% tariffs on exports, 30% on imports. If we open market, they get zero. Zero. Free the shit out of their subjects. Um, Actually, that's not a bad idea also. Who should we liberate? Wait, what? Tunis? What? What the fuck? Why is Tunis a... What? <laughs> uh, when did that happen, Austria? <laughs> Uh, okay. Transfer subject, Tunis. Can I? What do you mean Algeria is also their subject? Oh, they're a protectorate. Oh, you. I don't want protectorate. Screw that shit. No. Um, no I'm going to liberate country. I'm, li I'm going to liberate... Bohemia. <laughs> and I'm going to liberate also um, Lombardia. <laughs> and can I do anything else? No, it's fine. All right. That's that's good. 
I'm just doing it semi because um, I want to. That's it. Don't question it. Don't you question it, man. Okay, doggy. All right, we need one more unit here. Friends, HQ. All right, cool. Now let's see who else is going to join them. Denmark, fair enough. Can you free Hungary? I cannot, apparently. It's not one of the countries I can free up. Uh, Austrians are crying right now, for sure. If you fight Prussia later, make sure to liberate Danzig. Will do. Uh, Ludi, my beloved friend, please do some Armenia video in any Paradox game, please. I will, I will. They won't just give in. Oh, they're not going to give in. Because uh, my main my main war target my main war goal is to puppet them. If I just had a war goal for like a province, they could give in. But because my war goal is to puppet them, they are not gonna give in. I mean, they could. But I don't think they will. Highly unlikely that they will. They won't. Let me save up. News up here. Do you have a regular stream schedule for streams? Um, on YouTube once in a while. To be honest with you, man, I mostly do videos, but um. I stream almost every couple of days on uh, Twitch. I alternate, let's say. Because I cannot stream on both platforms at the same time. So so I do one at a time. Now, welcome to the stream. Glad to see new faces around, always. French, 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 Niger, Delta. That's a lot of population. Holy fuck. Let's build like 30 dye plantations in there. All right. That's a lot of Austrians there. Um, all right, we're crushing them. This is Sardinia's army. Wow. Color me surprised, my boy. Color me surprised. How's this going? Please win. Oh, for fuck's sake. Please win. Jesus. They're attacking? What? Alright, I guess we're going to have to change to attack in that case. Nah, we're just defending here. Alrighty, we're still losing this actually because we lost a few battles here and my Belgian vassal is losing as well Oof. Uh, I'm gonna need to do a couple of naval invasions then let's go. You are gonna go with Who is this? Oh my god, I fucking hate the tooltips. It's so annoying Gilod, Gilem, no, Firm, no Shit, how about you? Honor, yeah, you can go with Honor now let's get these other guys. Uh, you're going to be pushing here. You're also going to be changing from defense to attack. You're going to be coming over anywhere else. No, I think that's the only front, right? Yeah. Okay. Here. Even Denmark's winning against me. No. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely because... Uh, it's not about the equipment. I have enough. It's just about the reserves. I don't have enough. Oof. Mm. Let me think about this for a sec. Oh, I can do the Eiffel Tower. Forgot to do that. Let's build it up. What what does the Eiffel Tower give, actually? Plus 100 prestige. That's it? Plus 20 urbanization per level as well. That means one level, so. Oof. Not much. Props from Portugal. I never will be able to see you play with my nation. Please make a video of you for or a Viki 3 for Portugal. I will, bro. I will. I have a lot of Portugal videos for you for. I have to do one for Viki 3. I don't know if you really care, but how do you feel about the Qatar World Cup? If I remember correctly, you lived there for a while, no? Uh, I lived there for five years in Qatar, yeah. I'm very much against the Qatar World Cup. I've I've voiced that in my streams previously as well. And um, I will 
I will voice it as much as possible. It's not going to make any difference me voicing it though. So, Sadly, the reality is that the world, you know, works the way it works and money makes the world go round. So it is what it is. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, what is your GDP record? 3 billion as the Ottomans in my Ottoman campaign. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, but that's not much. I could go up to 50 billion as Ching, for example, if I played until 1936, probably even more. It depends on who you play as, to be fair, and how you play. Um, I got 5.5 billion with East India Company. I have 2 billion as Russia. Not bad. That's why we were watching you and not the World Cup. I appreciate that, guys. Oh, is the World Cup now? Oh, shit. Hey, what's up, Nerikson? Left from Poland. How fast uh, to destroy China in EU4? That's who? As Sambas. Please make you for a video where you form Israel. You expand the sulfur mines? Yes, I have. I have expanded. All the sulfur is mine. I am of the sulfurish. Sulfurious, sulfurious, sulfurious. Uh, yeah, so guys, okay, I hate doing a little bit of a rant about this, but I, I guess it's necessary. I don't know how many of you realize this and how many of you care or know about this, but Qatar paid for the World Cup to be, you know, brought to Qatar. That's pretty freaking obvious, even though they don't admit to it. There's literally no reason why a World Cup would be played in a place where it's 45 degrees Celsius in the summer outside. But that's not the big issue. The big issue is that they're using, uh, I don't want to say slave labor, but they're using um, really badly paid laborers from poorer parts of the world, like the Indian subcontinent, Philippines, Indonesia, and so on. And they're promising them a certain amount of money, and they're not giving them that money. Sometimes they're not giving them any money. They're taking their passports as soon as they get into the country. They force them to live into common accommodations with like 100 people, 50 to 150 people in one big room with one common toilet and no actual kitchen facilities. And they live there. They stay for eight hours and then eight, 16 hours they work on a construction site for the whole day. And, you know, it's 45 degrees Celsius outside and you're working in physical labor like that. A lot of people are going to have a lot of heart attacks. And a lot of people died because of the Qatar World Cup because of building those stadiums for FIFA. They say the official number is 6,500, 6, but trust me, there's a lot of people probably not declared or shit like that. So 6,500, not 1,600, Ryan. And yeah. It's, it's pretty bad. And it's not only for FIFA or for the World Cup. That's Qatar. I lived in Qatar for five years. And this type of arrangement, so I don't use the S word, is very common. Like, it's an old construction field. It's in most fields in Qatar. Like, Qataris, which make up about 10% of the population, are ridiculously rich. Like, beyond imagine imaginable rich. Like, they get a, a sponsorship. They get... a I don't want to say a pension. They get allowance from the government. If you're a Qatari citizen, you get money for just existing. You don't need to work. And they get something like 16,000 Qatari reals, which is like, I don't know, $5,000 for fucking breathing. Just being a citizen. And then if you actually decide to get a job, any job that a Qatari gets, he gets three times higher salary than anybody else that does the same job as him. That's Qatar law, by the way. Um, like I have a Qatari friend who's uh, working in the police in Qatar. He lived in Romania. He was actually raised in Romania, but his parents are Qataris. He studied in Romania and then he moved to Qatar because he's a Qatari citizen, right? Both of his parents are Qataris. And, uh, he said, he showed me, <laughs> he showed me a salary, which is fucking ridiculous. The salary. He had no experience as a police officer and he got the same position in Qatar for that particular police job that people that had 20 years experience back in Pakistan had right and he's getting three times more money than he than they are getting it's just absolutely ridiculous how that country is and nobody talks about this shit right because people are not comfortable talking about this stuff I guess I don't know 
Been there only for 24 hours. You had a transit, Michael? They get a stipend like the old unlanded nobility used to? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. And you can only become a Qatari citizen if uh, one of your parents is... No, if your mom is Qatari. You cannot if your dad is... Your mom has to be Qatari, if I'm not wrong. But don't obsec. Yeah, I know, bro. Ludi live on YouTube. Hey, what's up, Gucci George? But isn't the cheap labor part of capitalism, Ludi? I mean, just look at Belgrade Waterfront. Most of the work... No, it's not like that, Sir Benda. There's a difference between cheap labor and not considering people humans. So the moment that... The first off, they promise them a certain salary, right? Then they come to Qatar. They take their passports away so they cannot leave the country. There's a kafala system in Qatar, which is... Essentially, in order to leave the country, you need to get an exit permit. Even for me, I had to get an exit permit every time I left the country. So, if I didn't ask for the exit permit, I would not be able to leave the country. I would go to jail if I tried to leave the country without that exit permit. You understand what I'm telling you? And these people, they take their passports. They cannot even apply for an exit permit. So, they're literally trapped there. And they're only allowed to go... In certain restrictive areas, they're trapped in a barracks with hundreds of other people with shit living conditions, with minimum food, with horrible pay. Sometimes they don't even get paid and they work for 16 hours in the scorching sun building stuff. That is fucking... It's, some, it's not fucking capitalism, dude. That is fucking slavery. And not to mention, women, zero fucking rights in Qatar. Zero. Did I tell you I had a friend that was arrested? He spent months in jail, Romanian guy, because he held the hand of his girlfriend in the street. You think that's normal? not it's fucked up it's not perfect here but i still don't get uh, the hate especially on qatar why no one else is talking about other countries See, there's no hate about Qatar in particular. It's about all of that region, though, Mustafa. Qatar is a lot worse than most countries in that region, though. I've, I've lived in Qatar for five years, Mustafa. Are you Qatari or are you just living there? There's a big difference between people that are expats living there and the manual laborers that live there. You know that. You, if you're from there, you cannot deny that. You know that that's a big difference. Um, and then it's not the same. I mean, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, pretty much the same shit. Not, not much of a difference. UAE, there is a difference. Almost the same, but they get some minimum rights compared to Qatar and Saudi. But yeah, Saudi, Qatar, same shit. No difference. Actually, Saudi is worse. Because in Saudi, um, you literally cannot even hang out unless it's in specific spots. Like, they tell you where to even chill. Like, fuck me. It's insane. Same with Dubai, Saudi. Yeah, I know. Dubai is a little bit more open because it has a lot more tourists for a little bit longer, but not much difference. By contrast, Dubai is a part of the United Arab Emirates, right? So there's like, what, five Emirates, I think? I'm not sure. Correct me if, I, if it's more than five. Uh, and the worst of the Emirates, which is Sharjah, the one over here, bro, those guys are living in the Middle Ages. Like, holy shit, they literally have... They applied the Quran as if Mohammed was living with them right now. Holy crap, bro. Like beheadings and shit. Fuck my life, bro. In 2022, you serious? But yeah, at least you can drink alcohol in Dubai compared to Qatar. Jewish friend? What's up, Zeman? All right, we puppeted the Netherlands. Let's see what else we got here. Piemontin war reparations, open Austrian market, liberate Bohemia. Okay, I can do that. Let's go. Let's go. See if we can do a military invasion as well, actually. F 
Firmin something and Gilom. How about the other one? I try not to talk about this because I know some people get really triggered about this. Like, I'm not trying to trigger anyone. I'm just saying shit that I've experienced myself. Like, personal things that I've seen with my own eyes. Like, I'm not going to say stuff that I didn't see myself with my own eyes in Qatar. Because, end of the day, I lived there for a really long time, right? Five years is not nothing. And there are great parts about Qatar. Like, as an expat that's not from the middle... Like, if you're not part of the lower strata living in Qatar, it can be fucking amazing. I mean, really amazing. Like... It can be one of the best places in the world. Like, I, I personally uh, did not have issues that most people deal with in that country because of the company that I was working for and because of a few other things, right? But sadly, most, most people, they're not in the same situation as me when they go there. So it is how it is. And I'm trying to voice it from their perspective as well, you know? Like, there's good stuff as well, though, like, some of the best food I had was in Qatar, right? It's not Qatari food, it's Lebanese, but it was in Qatar. <laughs> I'm triggered in a good way, seeing you outraged about it. What industry did you work in? Uh, airline industry. I was working for Qatar Airways, the national carrier. I get conscripts. Oh my God, my market access is destroyed. When did that happen? Holy snaps, man. Let's get four. Another three. I'm just going to build one in each province because I know it's going to be necessary at some point. All right. Can we even push this, though? Let's see. Can we push it? Can we liberate the boys here? If we can liberate, uh, whatchamacallum. Bohemia, I'll be happy if we liberate Bohemia. Did you visit Turkey? I did. What do you think? Why do? What do you think? Why Western media doesn't speak about the slavery in the Middle East? Because the Middle East is in really good relations with the United States. A lot of the Middle Eastern countries are good allies of the United States, military allies, and economic partners. So it's not in the interest of the United States to give a bad light on what's happening there because the U.S. is doing a lot of business with Middle Eastern countries. And if you don't believe me, I don't know. Google it. If you don't want to Google it, um, I can tell you that Qatar has got a lot of relations with the U.S. directly with the U.S., They've got a huge embassy. They've got a lot of expats from the U.S. living and working in Qatar. Uh, Qatar sells a lot of its oil to the U.S. for very cheap. Um, they've got one of the biggest military U.S. U.S. military bases outside of uh, the U.S. in Qatar. They use Qatar as an invasion point into Iraq when they attacked Iraq. They, they, the invasion force was from the military base in Qatar. Uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar are really close military and economic partners of the US. Fortunately, we want oil from OPEC and plus in a place in a place to put military bases for strategic purposes. Yeah. German media is pretty vocal about the thing Ludi is talking about. Most medias are not though. Like most medias they don't even mention shit like that. Like right now they're saying, "Oh yeah, we're taking oil from Qatar instead of Russia." But in my opinion, dude, Qatar is doing a lot worse shit than Russia has ever done. Just my opinion. I know it's really controversial controversial considering the war right now and the shit that Russia's doing, which is fucking horrible. But to put this into comparison, like, yeah, Russia's doing it now because of war and because of everything, right? But Qatar's been doing it at peace and will continue to fucking do it. And has been doing it for a really long time. And it's been endorsed by NATO. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it, trust me. Now on YouTube. Hey, what's up, Dorin? Negra, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Oh, we can get public health insurance. Hell yeah. Bloody putting an uh, anti-Russia hat. I'm not putting any hat, bro. Like, if, if you ask me for my stance, I feel like we should have peace the sooner the better, right? 
And I know that's just stupid of me to even think, right? I've seen people saying, Oh, Ludi, you're so stupid. How can you say that we should have peace soon? Uh, you know it's not possible. Not until blah, 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 blah. But the truth is that peace is the best outcome. But I know it's not going to happen because there's interests on both sides. And that's why it's not going to happen. It is what it is. I just hope that somehow it's going to happen because end of the day, there's a lot of Ukrainians suffering every single fucking day from this. So There's a lot of people everywhere suffering from this, not just from there. Russia, Europe, Ukraine, everywhere. It's getting worse. But yes, the Ukrainians are getting the worst of it because they're actually getting attacked. There was a German female journalist who showed herself in the stadium with a rainbow sweater. At least they, they tried. Nice. Israel, Israel is anti-Qatar though. Israel is uh, quite vocal against Iran, Saudi and Qatar. Yeah. And uh, Israel's greatest ally is the United States. Do you know what Qatar's greatest ally is? It's also the United States. Do you see the common denominator in this whole situation of who's actually pulling the strings in the entire region? And if it's... How do I put this? Like... It would be really easy for the U.S. to actually end any sort of conflict in the Middle East if they really wanted it to. But they don't want it because having conflict in the Middle East is beneficial for the U.S. Divide and conquer. It's easier to control all of these countries when they're actually fighting against each other. And you can use this fight against each other to gain economic and military footholds. Serbam, thank you for the two bucks, man. Appreciate that, bro. What do you think is the best government in uh, Viki 3? Um... Well, it depends, man. I personally think that a presidential republic is the best balance because monarchy has the extra landowner political strength, which I'm not a fan of personally. But it depends. It really depends. Everything has its benefits. It depends what you're really trying to go for in your, in your game. Let's just play the game. This is very thin ice. I agree. Let's, let's not continue this discussion. Let's just play the game because I don't want to get banned by YouTube for this shit. Um... Electric sawmills. Ooh. Oh, we can get steamships now. Nice. But I need to wait because before I switch over to steamship productions, I need to get gantry uh, ports. Where are they at? Here. Gantry cranes. My bad. So I can switch over to industrial ports in my harbors. That's why. Check what the market's looking like. And we got silk is expensive, opium and tools and engines. Okay. So let's build some engines first. Um, I don't know, say 20. Let's also build. Do we have any silk that we could get actually? Wait, what do we get silk from? Um, was it only silk plantations or whatever they're called? Do we not get silk as a byproduct of anything? I think we don't, do we? Yeah, only silk plantations. All right. Well, I'm going to max out the silk plantations. We're not max it out, but let's say build 30 and 35. And let's see what infrastructure issues we have. I'm going to build a few more here. For sure, I'm going to need it in the south. There you go. Nice. All right. Let's continue with our advance into Austria. Uh, who will win the uh, World Cup? I don't know, man. I don't give a shit because I don't care about football. If you do... I'm happy for you. I hope your favorite team wins. I personally think that um, it's irrelevant. Especially when it's organized by FIFA. Um, let's also set up more interests in India. Let's start colonizing these butts as well here. Yep. All right, cool. I think we have some isolated areas, don't we? Yep. All right, so we got this here. We're going to go boom. This. Alt click so we get the port uh, uh, constructed right now. We don't need to wait for it to construct in the queue. Buenos Aires. Boom. Patagonia. And Aroncia. Nice. Uh, 
Are we going to be losing radicals from lowering tax? A little bit. It's going to increase the standard of living for sure, though. Oh, we lowered too much. How about this? Yeah, that's fine. You can make silk with synthetics too, way down in tech. Oh, no, I know that. No, I was talking about, like, um, one of the starting uh, plantations and shit. Yep, it's irrelevant. Yeah. Synthetic later in game. Looking for the sweet Indian opiates. <laughs> How do you think VK3 developers will um, fix warfare if they do? I think the best thing that they can actually do is um, give some options um, when you go to war. Like, ask your general to do specific things. Like, attack that particular target. Try to flank. Like, just basic stuff, essentially. You know what I mean? Like, try to give some basic stuff that can actually make the game a little bit more playable, if you know what I mean. Because right now, there's nothing like that, which is a big problem, in my opinion. Ooh, food industries. No, I didn't build anything there? Holy shit. Alright. What's my infamy at? 76. Alright, we'll attack somebody else at 50-something. Public health insurance. Nice. Alright, let's go with... Health system level 2 for now. Oh, education. Fuck yeah. We're gonna need to build some more admin buildings then. To get that education going. Alright. Let's go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And looks like we need in... Um, Brittany, some more railways. Gantry crane, so we can switch over to steam production. We don't need clippers anymore afterwards. And glass tool, that's fine. We'll get some of that going. Algiers market access. Let's say three in Algiers in that case, because it's a big state. Zanzibar, we can get just some ports. We don't need anything else. Same goes for the Delta. Well, actually, no, the Delta, we're going to need actual transport as well, because the Delta's got a pretty big population there. Have you been to America, Ludi? Yes, I've been multiple times. I've been to pretty much half of the US, let's say. Infamy is just a number. Yes, it is. Thank you for the $5, by the way, Sir Bam. Ludius Maximus. Thoughts on centralizing uh, universities for, for throughput bonuses versus decentralized to spread out qualification bonuses? Um, Whatever works for you, man. Honestly, I don't think... I'm not the kind of person that would go too high into such a debate about something in the game. Like, either way works. So, just build them. That's it. And you just reminded me I need to build more universities. <laughs> Forgot. Chat, you didn't remind me. God damn it. Alright. We're going to do two, two, one, one, three. Alrighty. How's this war going? Oh, we got pushed back? What? Oh, God. They're killing the PM1Ts. Nah, this war is not worth it. Oh, they're gonna give me liberate Bohemia. <laughs> Should we liberate Bohemia or Lombardia? What do you guys think? Chat, what do you think? You prefer, you prefer building railways or ports for market access? Uh, ports are cheaper. And you also get convoys. Uh, railways are good when you need uh, transport tickets. The good. Both. Bohemia based. Bohemia Lombardy. Lombardia has silk. Oh, true. I'm going to go for Lombardy, guys. There you go, beautiful Lombardy. Lombardia. Meow. Damn. <laughs> They're like, no, I will not accept your money. 
Va Wagenberg tactics are back on the menu. Well, not really, because we got Lombardia. <laughs> that doesn't like my face. They're like, no. I can, I can already see it. I can feel it. How dare you assume that I need your money? Fuck you. I don't know why they're speaking with the French accent. That's just weird. No clue why. All right, we got public schools, public health insurance, perfect, perfect. We should change here to guarantee liberties. We cannot just yet. Professional army, we can change to mass conscription would be perfect. I don't think we can, though. I'm not going to try because I don't think we can. These two, perfect. Never need to change them again. Monarchy over to parliamentary republic. Huh. Chad, what do you think? What should we go for? Republic? Presidential or parliamentary? Presidential. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it, sir. Kirov reporting. Alright. Let's get some more of these bad boys as well. One, two, three, four, five. And some more of these guys. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? Oldenburg. Why are you so Oldenburg? I'll let the Prussians do their thing. I don't care. Alright. Let's see what our situation's looking like. 69. We could attack someone. Who, though? Who? Who? Oh, I could get an alliance with these guys that are refusing to take on my debt. Interesting. If I allied them, I could actually make them uh, my Diplo puppet boy over here eventually. I don't think I want to, though. Hmm. Zanj. Oh, shit. I gotta kill some natives. Oh, no. I hate that. Man on the streets. Boom. Boom. No, oh, I shouldn't have gone for that. They already have low interest approval. Interest group approval. Annex Algeria. Attack Algeria. Oh, shit. That's a good idea. Good point. Good point. I'll do it after this rebellion is finished. Um, can I do any more colonies? All right, let's build more stuff. I need to queue up a lot of shit, to be honest, because I, I just, I need to queue up a lot of shit. Um, let's build a lot of wheat farms. These are easy to build, and they're good to have all around. Uh, I don't have any population in Auvergne. I shouldn't have done that. Mm. Right, we also need to switch on over to... electricity so we gotta go electric full electric let's get 35 tooling workshops as well and let's start with the electricity set up an electric grid there you go Noise. Hello, Holo Gaming. How are you? Who has the biggest economy? I think I do. Yes. 262 GDP. Alright. Come on, natives. Die. I know you wanna. Psh, psh, I know you do. Ooh, ooh. Holy shit. 1 million population in Zanzibar? Oh! What is it, like a popular tourist destination or something? See, I did that, Chad, because it is. It is a popular tourist destination, okay? Mm 
Hmm. We need more munitions plants. Okay, we won the war. Nice. Noise. Let's go with La Algerie. You are electric. You're a republic? Working on it. Hello from Brazil. What's up, Pedro? Is Absolute Monarchy still really bad in Victoria series? It's not bad. It's just it's different. We don't use that word here. Oh, shit. I cannot attack them because they're a protectorate of Austria. So I have a truce with Austria, bros. Broskis. I have a truce with the Austrians. This is very bad. Shit. All right, let's attack someone else. Uh, Morocco. Ma, ma, Morocco, 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 that it? No, there's something here. My infamy is at... Oop. 89. Okay, I can get maybe one state from the French, from the uh, Spanish. Let's say, um, I don't know. Well, I'd love to get Modena or Tuscany, but they're huge. 30 aggressive expansion for that. How about puppeting them? Tuscany is 16. That would put me at 104. Tuscany's got 1 million pops with uh, 3 million GDP. Hmm. Huh, huh. I could also liberate Catalonia or something, something like that instead. Chat, what do you think? Algeria may join the Moroccan war. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Hmm. Spanish Philippines. Ooh. Transfer Cuba. That's actually 10 aggressive expansion. That's not bad. Cuba is 1.3 million. For oh, that's better than Tuscany. That's way better than Tuscany. All right, let's do that to the Spanish. Let's transfer their uh, Cuban colony then. Nice. Cool. Let's also ban slavery and shit in Spain. I'm, I'm helping out the Spanish by banning slavery for them. Because I'm such a nice guy, see? Are you not entertained? Do you not see what's going on? Alright. Mobilizationos. Maximus. Thought you said world conquest is impossible. Well, we're trying it today. Let's see if we manage. Let's see. We might be short of some provinces. I wouldn't be surprised if we're short of quite a little bit of stuff, to be fair. Let's see. Oh, somebody else joined. Who, 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 who? Oh, shit. It's the Russians. Who gives a shit? Nobody. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da. Attack! I don't know why they had lightsabers and shit in the 19th century, but it's totally historical. Trust me on this. This is exactly what happened. And then Anakin went over the hill and said, Que hora es? But the other guy didn't know what he's saying because he was an American high school student. And then he said, Donde esta la biblioteca? And then he got it. So he said, Ah, la biblioteca. Yeah, I know that shit. And then um, everybody died. Because somebody had an AR-15 in the gang. So that was it. Algiers in the war. 717 building sector. Yes, sir. I've not tried uh, Vicky 3 yet. But why is there no possibility to all conquest? Well, well, we're testing that. We're testing that, sir. Because it's really difficult to actually manage a world conquest with all of the rebellions and shit and all the infamy and all that stuff. 
Oscar for best director for that movie you just made. <laughs> what the fuck is La Biblioteca? I didn't say La Biblioteca, bitch. I said La Biblioteca, you motherfucker. Eh, Ludi, he don't say with my regional accent from this place in the Spanish-speaking world. It's only my accent that you need to say, bro. I'm watching you. I know where you live. Um, what? No. It's not a PG-13. What the fuck are you talking about? It's for grown-up... Grown people, okay? It's grown-ups. Only grown-ups here. Hero from Iceland. Hey, how are you doing, bro? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Glad to have people uh, that enjoy a good potato over here. Wait, you said Iceland. You guys have potatoes in Iceland, right? <laughs> the ammo, Ludi. I want to make a baby with the you, Ludi. I love you so much. I'm getting. I'm, I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting, boys. I'm getting. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? That's the voice that you hear a zombie make, by the way. Oh, shit. I forgot. Algeria joined. No. I actually didn't forget. I just didn't pay attention. It's worse, Ludi. It's worse like this. You said this to me. You know, pay the attention, you fucking asshole. I come here, I expect you to pay the attention, bro. Oh shit, I didn't even know about this front. I mean, I knew that. I was just testing you guys. Ha! I wanted to see if you've seen the front before. Did you see that front there, Swiper? Where is it, Swiper? Where is it? It's a hundred years. Ludi, Iceland may have potatoes, but Ireland for sure doesn't have. So you are in no hurry? No. Why would I be in a hurry? If you're in a hurry in this game, you're going to get fucked. I'm telling you now. That's exactly what's going to happen. This game, you got to take it easy. Take it slow. Not even joking, by the way. Oh, we actually didn't build much stuff in Picardy, did we? And I think we needed something in Picardy. What was it? Um, I forgot. What was it? I'm just going to build some stuff here. Uh, say this. And engines. Oh, we need more tools, actually. A lot more tools. And if we need tools, then we need iron. And coal. Yep. All right, cool. We got the queue done. Hell to the yes. If I realized Algeria wasn't this, I would have tried to swipe their lands like Swiper does. Can you say happiness in the household with the French accent? No. Can you say pee pee schmicky pick a Say it now. Do you take oil from Persia? I already own Persia. The King Trial. What? Long live the Republic. The Trial of King Louis Philippe. Oh, he dies. Nobody cares. All right, cool. So um, now we got a cooler government full of cooler people. Totally not mass murderers. Um, Jesus, man, we have pretty much all the good stuff already enacted. Holy shit. I need migration control, though. Yep. I do need my migration control. My migrationus controllus. Maximus. If 
VK3 is unbelievably buggy, but it's my favorite Paradox game, gotta admit. Same, dude. I'm fucking... I mean, it's not my favorite, but it's really... I, I hate saying this. It is definitely slowly creeping up to being my favorite, because I've been playing it more than E4 recently. It's just like... It's got a lot of bugs. It's got a lot of things that it's stupid as fuck. But... Dude, it's fun. <laughs> like, it's so lightweight compared to E4, right? Like... E4, you got to think of so many... Th this is like... There are things that are complicated, but at the same time... I don't know, man. It's got a different vibe. It's got a different vibe, that's for sure. It's got a different vibe. Naval invasions are gross. Oh, yeah. They suck. They suck the PP. <laughs> Algerie. Aber unser Transferius. Cuba. <laughs> I'll stop now. I want to apologize, chat. I know I keep making weird noises. My apologies. Shut up. Sorry, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. I did not mean to. Um, let's build more constructions. Where? We're running out of population. Holy shit. We're actually running out of population, dude. Like, holy shit. We're running out of pops. A little bit surprising. Hey, hey, we won. We got this new puppet here. Ha, 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 ha. The world is slowly turning blue. Just like you, you. Blue boy. I like how I have my priorities sorted. Integrate West Sahara first, Ludi. That's what really matters. All right, what do we got here? Boom. Boom. I think I'm going to need more admin buildings, aren't I? Yep. Low market access? Yeah, that's fine. Picardy, we need taxation. Oh, no. Nous avons pas de taxation. Oui, oui. How do you say taxation in French? I actually don't know. Um... Let me build this. Noise. And are we queuing up coal? 45, 50. Perfect. Wait, did I start researching the other thing? Oh, dude, I'm not at max out. 143. Let me get more unis. I'm going to need a few more. Oh, I need to switch this also to electric street lights. Holy shit, the economy boost. That is insane. And, um... Ooh. Let's get eight. One, boom, 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 boom. I think it's eight. I don't know. I didn't count. Military statistics go with that. We need a strong military. It's an ugly map color. You're an ugly map color. Did you know that? Did you know you an ugly map color? Omelette de fromage. Why you not attack Germany, bro? I want to I wanna see Germany form, bro. You got a problem with that? You have a problem with my germophobium? Huh? Bro? Hmm? You got a problem with my germanium? Germanium? Germadubidum? Can we ban that guy? I don't even know what he said. I'm just angry now. He picked on my German. All right. Let's build some railways in German. German Alsatia. I mean, French Alsatia. Taxation in French is uh, imposition. Ah, okay. It's the same in Romanian. Oh, it's imposit in Romanian. Imposition avec les... Hon, hon. Romania had uh, one von Hohenzollern. Uh, <laughs> one von Hohenzollern. King. Yes, we did. Did you know, not only was he the first von Hohenzollern king, but he was also... Joe Mama. Hmm? Did you know that? Did you know that? I bet you didn't. Yeah. 
Christine, I don't blame you. It is your fault, but I don't blame you. That's what I'm trying to say. Just because it's your fault doesn't mean I can blame you. Right, chat? Alright, we got my... I feel like France legislation passes really freaking fast. Holy shit, that was fast as well. Did they, like, secretly super buff up France or some shit? Really, it feels like way too fast, man. Holy crap. Um, I mean, we're in 1863. We have basically all the legislation that we need. No, I'm not going to go for laws yet. Child labor, compulsory school. Yep, let's go for this. Also, I'm struggling out here. Karaoke, redeem when? <laughs> Ludi drink? No, thank you. It is, um, it is actually Winston. I agree with you on that. It is a lot better. It makes more sense as well. it cool oh my god still at 82 infamy can you just go down already for christ's sake what do we attack next boys do we attack greece do we make greece great again that's the big question here so if we make greece great as again Egypt, you lose money. Oh no, I lose the money. Let me go a medium taxation ski. Oh, I no lose the money no more. We need to keep the fires of industry going, boys. For the fires of industry are fiery. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. Where's my wallet? It's gone. I ate it. Ignore it if you're strong. I mean, I could do that, but the reality is once it goes after a certain number, the AI is pretty much hard-coded to attack you all the time. So, ooh, feminism. Let's research that quick. Let's go for pan-nationalism as well. Actually, I need the extra authority points. Bureaucracy population cost is good too. Hmm. Seventeen standard of living. Absolutely. Glutenstein. Absolutely Glutenstein right there. Still lower market access. Not cool. Alright, we got the power supply. Nice. Um, let's check what our mark is doing. Oh, sulfur is up that much. Wow. Sulfur and clothes. Alright, cool. Alright, because we finished the, um, the mines, we just need the sulfur now. Dude, seriously, did you see that? Freaking, uh, whatchamacallit, it's done already. What the fuck? The legislation, it passed. Did you guys see how fast that shit passed? Holy shit. This is why I like about Vicky 3. Like, it's such an easy laid back game. It's insane, dude. Click, 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 click. It gives you the dopamine drip, you know? Click, 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 dopamine drip, 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 drip. You love it. Mm -hmm. 
You watch that GDP go up, you're like, oh shit, look at my GDP, it's almost 400 mil, bro. Mm -hmm. I probably should have like 2,000 construction sectors by now if I was gonna really try hard. I am casualing it, though. Um, don't research it, please, I am from the future. <laughs> Ludi, not streaming on Twitch, not today, l -Rate. We're gonna go back to Twitch in two days. AI because it became scared of you. It did with China 400 infamy. Let's go to the left bank of the Rhine. Go to publicly traded everywhere. Or is there a downside? No, no, no. We can do that. I forgot actually. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Don't really need capitalists that much though. I mean, I do need some. I don't have any actually now, so I guess I should do it. Uh, let me also do this. I forgot to get the electric sawmills. All right, let's go for this. Let me go for this. All right, that's enough for now. It's enough capitalists for now. Capitalistus key for now. Steel a little bit low on. Mm. The reason I'm building like this, I'm trying to keep as many as one province in one province is because of the economy of scale, by the way. So you see here I get a throughput of plus forty percent because of the economy of scale. Because we got thirty uh uh, steel factories we got 35 but it's capped at a certain point to increase the cap of the economy of scale uh, we need to get research shit so like in my case I need to research next um, shift work oh shit I should do this now what the fuck forgot to research shift work all right let's attack someone let's go with Switzerland fuck it Everybody knows Switzerland's really just French land, right? Am I right? Am I right, Swiss people? Ludi, Ludi, drink. Oh, there is low market access in Netherlands. Oh, is there? Let them die. Push-ups now. Why do you need capitalists? Uh, they give you free money, essentially. There you go. Your, your investment pool increases massively from that. Let's go for dynamite next. Oh, I'm gonna call on the Russians just so I can uh, offer humiliation of, uh, I mean the Prussians to offer humiliation of Russia. You know what I meant, don't you? The fuck? Afghanistan somebody Oh, they're the Russian Oh, they're a Russian protectorate. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. Um let's uh what are we gonna liberate, boys? What are we gonna liberate? Liberate what? Wales? Oh my god, are we gonna liberate Wales? Chat, are we gonna liberate Wh let's do it. Let's liberate Wales just for the memes. And let's also liberate Estonia. This goes out to my good homie. Mr. Doom. Transfer? Nah, fuck it. I'm liberating shit. I'm a good guy in this scenario, okay? I'm the good guy. I promise. Holy fuck. We got a lot of lands that we gotta fight in. Ooh-wee. This is not good. This is really not good. Oh, 
all of this for Switzerland. Is it worth it, Russia and UK? Is it worth it? Trade agreement? Yeah, sure. Just because I like Prussia, that's it. No other reason. Nope, we need to build up more shit. Pepega. Can we free Scotland? It's not an option. I would have done it, uh, Max, but it's not an option, sadly. Um, we need more chemical plants for the dynamite, don't we? We're going to need it soon anyway. So let's go another 10 over here. And shipyards, for sure, we're going to need more. Actually, no. We're going to be at war for a while, so we're going to need ammo, am, uh, arms factories. There you go. Of course, there's always more railways. Let's go! Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? That's the German version of Scooby Doo, by the way. Are you? You should have Transfer Canada because they have oil. Ah! Oh, that is not a bad idea. Not too late now. We'll do it next war. That's a good idea, actually. You're right. They do have. They do have. They do have. They do have Einstein. And, yeah. Chanel. Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. Wait, the fuck? I don't have any units here? I'm sorry, what the fuck? No, we do. Where are they? Sus. Very sus. Where my troopers at, yo? Oh, gotta construct shit again. Um. Cold. go 82 should give it a while oh yeah win them battles for me boy well we're winning the war now it's a question of uh winning in the colonies wait is, is that a flag of wales oh my lord hot dangity dungity dunga to go ski baba da booba da bo Hmm. Let's uh, do a naval invasion into England, if we can. Let's say Wales. Guillaume, it's your time, on ami, to shine. Do you not want to shine? Oil is everywhere and anywhere. It's all-knowing, all-powerful, omnipotent. Really, oil is just the ultimate de deity. <laughs> Ludi's Japanese, yes. Ludi likes the warfare system. It's not that I like the warfare system. I'm getting used to it. That's the reality. It sucks, but I am getting used to it. Wait, did I... What? They capitulated? Fuck you, Britain. No. No, they didn't. No, we're good. We're good. I want my colony, bish. Give me my colony. Oof. Oof. Oh, wow. Persian units are winning against Russians. What the fuck? Ha! They have irregulars. No, they have line infantry. Okay, never mind. They're winning, but they're losing a lot of troops, though. Oof. Oof. Painful, painful. What do you mean, your ally? Your little schnippeldorp should be the right terminology there, sir. How dare you say ally? It's my schnippeldorp. It's not my ally. All right. We got to get... Motor? Yeah. Some. Not too much. Like five. Rubber rush. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, speaking of rubber and dyes, we got to build some of that shit. Um, 
because that's going to start getting really expensive. Tea as well is going to get really good. Let's build a little bit more of that. All these plantations always in high demand and good to have around. There you go. Coffee, tobacco. I think tea, it's really good though because of, um, you know, Englishmen drinking it. And other cultures. Other cultures drink it too, not just them. It would be very silly of me to just say that they're the only ones drinking it. I always feel bad that I fight against the Qing. It's like a massacre. Does Prestige offer anything besides world rank, power rank? I don't think so. Um, chat, if you know, tell me also because I don't think so. As far as I know, it's the only thing that it offers. Yeah. Maybe there's some other thing that it does that I don't know. Need huge prestige lead to make GPs into puppets. The lovely Yorkshire tea. Any particular obsession the French people have uh, for? I think that would be um, frogs, right? They love frogs. Am I wrong? Do they not love frogs? French people in chat, tell me. Do you not love frogs? Frogs? I always thought that you love frogs. Because that's what I've been seeing everywhere on TV. Oh, the French, they love the frog. <laughs> Maybe it's just bullshit. Maybe I've been lied to this whole freaking time. Unbelievable. Un. Believable, I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. It's unbelievable. Wait, where's the front? Oh, did I do the naval invasion? Was it successful? Nope, it failed. Fuck yeah. Gilom. Second time's a charm, yeah? Schnell. You fucking asshole. Come on already. Alright. Let's see. Where, where are you needed? You're needed here. How about you? You're needed here. And you? You're needed here. Fuck yeah. Holy shit, some massive battles between the Russians and the Germans. Damn. Hot dang. Snails? Hey, true, 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 true. Zarmus, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream, man. Fromage. Omelette du fromage. Hello from Ukraine. Hello, my friend. Which part of Ukraine are you from? Welcome to the stream. Mina, thank you for becoming a channel member. That really means a lot, bro. Thank you so much for becoming a channel member. You can stop the formation of North Germany by conquering some lands in uh, Rhineland Palatine, for example. Right, chat? Yes, you can. Yeah. You can. Here's the thing, though. I don't want to. I want Germany to form. The Germans. Wow. We're so far ahead GDP wise compared to everybody else. It's insane. <laughs> Jesus fuck. This country is OP as fuck. Maybe paradox. You should nerf the country. Just saying, you know. <laughs> Can you do a video on Ukraine destroying Russia? Um, I have a video that I plan on doing on Ukraine. That's for sure. I'm pr pretty much going to cover all the nations in this game, to be fair, guys. There's not that many nations when you think about it compared to you four. Oh, we got a beachhead. <gasps> oh, Mariana. What? Who Mariana, bitch? Who that? Mm? Who? Who that? Shut up. The last monarchists. Landowners lose patern paternalistic ideology and gain elitistic ideology. So they become bigger dickheads. Or... Or, there's no harm in nostalgia. For five years, interest group, political strength, and approval. That's not bad. But I need to see what these do. So, paternalistic is... Fucking shit. How about the other one? Elitistic is... Also fucking... What? They're horrible, both of them. Fuck that shit. I was wrong. I was right about it when I said that they're becoming bigger douchebags. That's literally what's happening with that event. 
eat. Need to have an obsession with wine. Let me check what we have obsession with. We should have obsession with wine for sure. We're French, right? Yep, there you go. We have obsession with wine. And, um... I'm not going to say the other thing. Um... Oh, there you go. We can build more wine. We can do a lot of wine. Let's let's queue up a hundred wine wine yards. All the wine in the world. There you go. You should put some uh, focus on uh, cluttering all your buildings in, of one type in one province. This adds up to. Thank you, Linasia. Thank you. I appreciate that advice. Thank you very much. That means a lot. I I will do that from now on. I I was not aware of this. Thank you. Now I know. I shall use this forever and ever. And ever and ever, ever, ever and ever. Ever, ever going back together. Wee hee. Mapuchi time. Why not? Hey, what's up, Ryan? How you doing, bro? Viva la wine. Si. Senor. Si, senor. Whoa. Lombardia wants a defensive act. Ooh. We gotta act quickly. Do we want... Motherfucker, you don't even want to take my debt. Get the fuck out of my face. No. Unbelievable. Did we just build a hundred buildings in an instant? What the fuck? Holy shit. Um, yeah, we did. We literally did. What do we need next? Millet farms? Yes, sir. Millet is a type of uh, rye I found out in Africa, mostly. Predominantly, that is. Coffee is good. Coffee is really good for the soul, by the way. It also makes your pee-pee bigger. So, apparently, if you drink coffee... Um... Your PP increases by 50%. This is totally legit. I found it in a quote book by uh, Marcus Tilius uh, Chichero. He knows what's up. He totally does. Matthew, what's up? I'll follow your advice. <laughs> Love your content. You take unnecessary attrition during the Diplo plays. No need to assign to the front until countdown. They uh, don't take attrition at home. Yeah, I know what you mean, Gardner. I know, I know. To be honest with you, bro, most of the times, like, because I'm playing on speed 5, because I need to finish, I have a specific time frame in which I need to do stuff, right? So I can get the video ready and everything. That's why a lot of the times I just, because of time constraints, I don't min-max 100%, like, as much as you would expect me to. But I am aware, I know. If you don't assign them to the front line, then what happens is they are in barracks, but they're still defending. So you don't lose attrition at all. Actually, I'll one-up you because I know you don't know this. Literally what I just said. So if we have a front line here and I, I say I'm playing as the Germans, I didn't assign a single unit to the front line here. When they attack, they still have to fight my units, the ones that are in barracks. But they're not taking any attrition whilst their troops are taking attrition. Eh? You didn't know this shit, did you? See, that's big brain right there. I know this thing and I still don't use it. Because I'm that fucking Chad. And lazy. Alright. Let's go. Five. And another five. Taking taxes before they get absurd has just become a habit for me in most runs. Doesn't it matter if they're... Is there a presence where you build? It does matter, of course. It means no one's going to be working that shit. That's why I try not to build where there's zero peasants. Sometimes I don't pay attention. It is what it is. Hey, we got Switzerland as a vassal. A puppet. When did we get that? Oh, was it just now? I forgot. Ishfogisha. What? Is that how you say it in German? Ishfogisha? No, it's not. Shut up, Ludi. How many of you guys watch my videos and at one point in the video you're so pissed off with me and like so tired of my bullshit? So tired of me 
fucking being annoying and you're like shut up Ludi fucking asshole I'm tired of you I mean I watch my videos when I'm you know editing and I feel like that <laughs> so I totally understand if some of you are like that too it's fine I'm not gonna judge <laughs> me <laughs> there you go I, I respect honesty Vrolish. Uh, does the bug when you click on upper part of Mexico puppet them right at the start of USA still work when you can click on the upper state Britain can join what I don't know that bug if you have open borders and multiculturalism you can get a massive migration if you build in a province with zero peasants yeah that's true that is true I use that in my Argentina campaign the video is not out yet you'll see it when it's out um, I just let your video play in the background to help me sleep oh I'm glad to hear that Kuta I'm cringing every five seconds. You should see the uh, before release version of those videos because I edit a lot of the cringe out. So you should see some of this shit that I fuck me like some of the cringe is just too much even for me to bear. I edit it. I edit the fuck out of it. Damn, that's a lot of battles over there. Assist a lot of battle. <gasps> no, Germany capitulated. No. Why are you Germany capitulato? Oh, no. How the fuck they got skirmish infantry and getting their asses kicked? They got mobile artillery still? Jesus, fuck England. You. <gasps> fuck you. <laughs> All right, reloading. It's all good. It's all good. It's got to be an auto save there somewhere, right? Fucking annoying, but yeah, it is what it is. You haven't done a Romania video on Vicky three yet. I it, it's gonna come out eventually. It's it's got to get edited first. I'm crying right now. Even Vicky three got tired of listening to us. <laughs> Even Vicky three got tired of Ludi's cringe, guys. Vicky three is like, yo, shut the fuck up, Ludi. Okay, that's cool. Why is it not showing on stream? You guys cannot see this, can you? Oh no, you can see now. Okay. All right. Hopefully, it's not too far back. Enough is enough. Pas de chance. Uh, it would be nice to see a long video like in the 1900s with any country. Uh, I plan on doing that. I, there is a video like that that I have. The Ottoman one, uh, Jonathan. You didn't do the declaration uh, for everything you said like before. Wait, really? Did I not? Did I not? Hot dang it. Oh, I'm killing the... Jesus, man. I'm kicking the British ass, dude. Holy shit, I'm kicking their butts. Unbelievable. Literally kicking their butts. Massively kicking their butts. Hey, what's up, Captain Cannoli? Remember when you were reading your disclosures? Sorry, wrong word. Huh? I'm confused now, Michael. What are you talking about? Debating on getting this game with just my next check. I'm worried it might just suck me in, though. It probably will suck you in a little bit. What's your war goal? Uh, war goal is to kill them. It's whales. It's whales. War goal is whales. Declaration disclosures. Oh, right, right, right. I see, I see. Uh, what's in your background image? The painting looks cool. Uh, that's a picture of my house, Mina. That's a picture of my house. It's uh, over in uh, Rivendell. Uh, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm an elf. Use your dynamite. Oh, shit. Did we get dynamite yet? Oh, my God. How long have I not been using this for, chat? Chat, tell me right now. How long have I not been using this for? I'm just going to restart. I'm going to restart. Cannot believe I didn't use it. I, it's not. I didn't min-max. I cannot. I'm kidding, by the way. 
Um, rice. Ooh. Delicious. Oh, let's check what's expensive. We got... Holy fuck, explosives are expensive. That makes sense. We literally just switched over to dynamite. Alright, let's go. Um, where do we have these? Let's go an extra 30 in here. And let's see what else. Tools and tobacco. Oh, okay. We can do a lot of tobacco. Zitabakski. Oh, we don't have any population anywhere there. Feels bliat, man. Transport's expensive. Really? How is transport that expensive, though? Oh, come on. I've been building so many transports, I feel like. How is it still expensive, dude? Come on, France, lose. I mean, England. <laughs> Oh, interesting, dude. I didn't know about that bug. Cringe is just Ludi's autograph. <laughs> Can you please show the current overall situation I've just joined? Yeah, sure thing. All right, let me do that, actually. It's a good point. Ludi, it's a trap with railroads. Oh, is it? Um, it's, it's Is it like the Romanian railroad situation? Right, so we got a few vassals. We got pup we puppeted Netherlands, Belgium, Switzerland, Sardinia, Piemont, Morocco, uh a lot of Africa, Persia, parts of Indonesia, um, South America, Central America, Cuba. Yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Let me explain. You can't fill railroads with employees and keep building new ones. Ah, no, you're right. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I got to subsidize these uh, railroads. That's why. Yeah, I know what you mean. I got to subsidize these. But these are actually getting filled. These are actually getting filled. What? Rebellion in my colonies? How dare you? You are very mid disgust to me. You watching the World Cup? Nope. You need to subsidize? Am I not subsidizing railroads? Yeah, no, I still need to build it up. Yeah, there you go. Now it's fine. Yeah, no, I need to build it up. No, I know what you mean. If it doesn't have employees, it doesn't actually offer the infrastructure. I know what you mean, yeah. Um, all right, we got a lot of iron now. It's really, really cheap. Let's make sure we get everything else cheap. Let's also um, get more... What do we need? Motors, I guess? No, because tools are expensive. Let's get more tools then. Wow, really? Tools are expensive? Ile de France. Let's go with the uh, Zetul. There you go. And what else is there expensive here? Oh, ships and sugar. Okay. That's an interesting combination. Ships and sugar, boys. Ships and sugar. All right, cool. Um, dude, what the fuck, palm tree? <laughs> Hi, Lucy. How are you, bro? Are you fucking crazy, man? Thank you so much for the hundred ba ballers. For See, you you prevented me from even speaking anymore. Now, zombie. What's up? Welcome to the stream, also, dude. Glad to see you guys in the stream. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much, man, for the hundred bucks. That's really a lot. Dude, thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate it so much. Thank you for that. How are you guys doing today, by the way? I'm really glad to see all the OG people in chat as well today. Building the good ship uh, lollipop. Why mass conscription? Mass conscription is the best one. Dude, that's insane, man. I really, really appreciate it, bro. How you been, man? How you been? Paradoxa. I'm guessing that's palm tree, right? If I remember correctly. I can tell from the profile picture as well. 
Thank you so much, bro. Hello from Ukraine. Hey, what's up, bro? How are you doing, man? How is everything? I hope you're doing good there, bro. What was your first strategy game out of curiosity? I think that would have been a Rome Total War. The 18 people who now work uh, on five sugar plantations simultaneously. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, it's, Don't worry. We're going to get migrants there. They're going to fill up the, the places. There's Schnitzel Cloper also. How are you doing, man? I should be studying law, but I stopped everything to watch a video. Love you, Ludi. Matthias, get the fuck back to work and study law, motherfucker. You think law is going to study itself, bitch? You better study, huh? If you fail exams, you're going to be a failure. Do you want to be a failure? Or do you want to be a not failure? <laughs> you want to be a lawyer or what? Come on. Get your shit together. I mean, if you have time to study, that's fine. But if you don't have to time to study, you better study, bro. Watching some random asshole playing video games, that's not the way. Trust me. <laughs> will you turn this into a world conquest? I will, yeah. I'm fairly confident. I mean, we're in 68 and we already have half the world, so. Well, 20%, not half. When are you going to let Infamy go through the roof? Uh, I'll, I'll do that once I integrate the great powers. So when I do Russia, all these big boys here. So like 1890 around. Until then, I tried to have a stable situation. Because the more infamy you get, the more radicals you get as well. So it's not that great. Oh, people getting fired from buildings. Oh, I got a lot of new employees. That's good. Thank you so much, Paradox. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for that, bro. That really means a lot, man. When are you going to... Um, bless you, bro. By World Conquest, you mean one tag or puppets also? Uh, puppets. I will probably integrate most of them, though, eventually. I plan on integrating most of them, so. Let me build a few of these. Alright. Um, oh, is it sugar, right? Yep. Yeah, we got no people working here. Holy fuck. Uh, what else do we need? Let's check. Opium. Alright, and glass. Okay, glass is easy to get. Glass is everywhere. We can go boom, boom, shakalaka, 30, 40. There you go. Beautiful. And zombie, how are you doing, bro? How are you today, man? Why is your color different? It's because of uh, I'm not uh, a monarchy anymore. I'm a presidential republic. Playing as Moldova, I own Dobroja and Valakia. Should I become a Prussian protectorate? Yeah, why not? You can do that. Like a billion wars, they have so many uh, small islands. How many wars is it going to take to annex the whole of the British Empire? A lot. We've had a few already with them. Do you recommend VK3 in the current state? Should wait for more patches? I, rec I mean, I'm having fun, so I cannot say that I don't recommend it. But if you're the kind of person that if you see like a bug here and there, it's going to bother you so much that you're not going to play it anymore, then don't get it. But if you don't m mind a few bugs here and there, then you should get it. It's fun. And if you don't mind, a very simplistic military system. How the hell is a king ruling France? And I, it's not. I've got a president, bro. I got President Aimable Zou, Aimable de Bourgogne. I butchered that whole name, I know. Minus not 9k tools, I know. I like living on the limit, on the edge. Fine, okay, fine, I'll build more. God damn it. Calling me out on my tools and shit. Wait, no, not there. Um, Where is it? Here? No, no employees. Oof. Oof. Oh, actually, I could build some here. There you go. Um, What do we got here? Rubber mastication, not bad. We can get the synthetic rubber and shit. Steel ready cars. Yeah, let's go for these two. Liberate whales. We got it, boys. We liberated the whales. They shall no longer suffer. Fuck you, Russia. Just give me my shit, bitch. All right. Let me invade them.
Come on, Russia. Lose. Lose, please. Please lose. Avec le... Oh my god, did we just lose the battle in the colonies? Are you shitting me? <sighs> Unbelievable. I hope we don't lose the colonies. That would suck. That would legit really suck. Um, all right. We got a battle here. Oh, we're going to lose this, aren't we? No. Annex Cuba. Um, it's already my puppet. Thanks for asking. It's stressful. Need to find a new job now before 27th of December. How are you, my man? I'm doing okay, man. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. If you need to talk about it, you know, my DMs are open, bro. Greetings from Kazakhstan. Is it possible to play as Kazakhs in Viki three in uh, Viki three? No, bro. Sadly, it's not. Kazakhs is not possible. It's like only a colonized region, unfortunately. What the fuck is this? Starting as France, have the highest GDP per capita in innovative innovation generated in the world. It's not even hard. Yeah. I think I might have to give up on... Um... And my dreams of liberating Estonia, chat. I think Estonia has lost to us. Can declare more interests. Let's go. How about... Hmm. Balkans? This? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get this done. Nice. Beautiful. What the fuck am I losing here? Jesus Christ, man. Why are my troops keep... Oh, I hate this game. Fucking hate this game. My keep my troops keep resetting here. It's so stupid. Like, they do the naval landing, and then they reset, and they just come back home. Makes no sense. Dude. We're winning. We're winning, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I heard somewhere in a movie sometime. I don't remember. All right. We got it. Can we get it now? Yes, we can. Liberate Estonia. Mm -hmm. There you go. 200k GDP, 1 million population. Biggest penises in Europe. Just saying. That's what they said. I don't know if it's true. Did the stream get blurry for anyone else except me? Oh, is it? Don't get me started on naval invasions. <laughs> yeah, naval invasions suck massively in this game. Uh, mods are cool, but not none are freely set up like custom nations from EU4. True. Please do it for the three people living there. <laughs> are you following the World Cup in Qatar? No, I'm not. I am not, sir. I am of the not. Not of the... Um, um of the not. Oh, we got... We killed them. Okay, cool. Fine. Um, unused... Pro oh, did we not know? We need to build shit. We need to build shit. We need to build shit. Explosive shell. Yes. Is the shell explosive? Yes. It's very explosive. You need to be very careful. Holy shit, that's a lot of cash. So you're rotating away from EU 4th century content to Viki 3 content temporarily, or is this more of a permanent change in what you play? Uh, thank you for the 75 uh, Swedish Krona, by the way, Daniel. Really appreciate that, man. 
50 percent of the time it works every time exactly howdy Ludi. hey what's up arjon um i am doing both e4 and vicky3 i'm definitely doing a little bit more vicky3 recently because the game just came out and i'm actually really enjoying it and i find it a lot more fun like with e4 it's kind of like doing the same thing again and again at this point because I've done most of the strategies already. Like, I'm trying to fine-tune them a little bit. But end of the day, it's pretty much just playing again the same country, you know. And um, I already have pretty much all the freaking videos out. Most stuff covered. That's why I'm focusing a little bit on Vicky 3 But that doesn't mean that I'm not doing E4. I do have to say, though, that I am planning on um, doing a lot of other games. Like uh, Hoi 4. Like... Um, non-paradox games i have skyrim video coming up i also have sims video i have a um what you call it um knights of honor video i've got quite a few different things coming out i'm doing this mainly because guys i'm gonna be really honest with you e4 is dying and if i don't do this now and i don't branch out and i do other content my channel is going to die with it and this is where i get all my money this is how i feed my family end of the day i have to do this i'm also enjoying it but i also have to do it because i know e4 is dying i know from a really good source you deserve it mate thank you so much for the 20 uh, swedish corona zombie really appreciate that bro thank you man i prefer mass conscription myself yeah me too i like uh, mass conscription you ever play rim world uh, yeah, I, I played for a little bit, yeah. Neat, good to know what you like. Yeah, yeah. Knights of Honor is really great. I'm looking forward to Knights of Honor 2 to come out on the December 6th, I think, right? Definitely try Hoi 4, my favorite PDX game, even before, though I hate the combat. I love Hoi 4. My channel started as a Hoi 4 channel, actually. E5, don't get so excited about E5, trust me. E4 is boring at this point. Go for it, Ludi. Appreciate that, Renato. E5 is coming soon. No, it's not. Not as soon as you think. It's for public, Axan. You can join. Anyone can join. Since Vicky3, I haven't uh, played E4 and really uh, rarely watch it. I feel that. I understand. I'm having fun with Vicky3, man. Like, it's a lot simpler. It's a lot more approachable. It's not fucking sweaty, try hard. I'm really enjoying it. I, I, it's a different feeling, you know what I mean? CK3, I also have a few videos coming out. I really am enjoying CK3, too. I like the roleplay aspect of CK3, personally. Because I'm really, really a lot into role-playing and stuff. So, yeah. I, I have some stuff coming up with CK3 that's revolving around role-play, let's say. I like E4, but we saw everything we could see there at this point. I agree on all the above, Ludi. Appreciate that, Daniel. I think they have two more experience to E4. E4 is going to get two more DLCs. That's it. Have you thought about trying more mods on E4 if uh, the Iron Man gets boring? Yeah, I, I have played a lot of mods as well. I, I will definitely cover a lot more mods in the nearby future too. A lot more. A lot more. Actually, fuck anarchism. I need to get uh, pump jacks. And steel cars. But pump jacks first. Um, wait, what was it that I needed the, the oil for? Uh, I'm going to have to switch back, I think. I don't think I have enough oil. Do I? No, I don't think so. I mean, let's see. We'll try it for a little bit. See how it works. And Vicky3 has a lot of potential. Like, Vicky3, I feel like in the long run... Wait, what the fuck is this? Uh, after they release, like, a few more DLCs and stuff for this... It's going to be really freaking great. Like, it's lacking a lot of flavor now, that's for sure, compared to most PDX games, right? But once it gets the flavor that it needs, holy shit, this game's going to be kicking everybody's ass. Why the fuck is Russia always at war with me? Like, holy shit, bro. My rebels appeared and Russia is fighting on my rebel side again? What the fuck, Russia? If I noticed this, I would have attacked them. I would have added war goals. I didn't even pay attention. Sorry. Shit. And I was going to attack someone. My infamy is low now, I think. Yeah. It's like 60. Perfect. Hmm. Oh, whales. 
Whales, revolutionary whales. We might get two whales. Mm -hmm. I'm going to liberate Ireland as well from the Brits. First time on uh, here. I, on stream, been uh, following you for a while. I like your content. I like how you do informative guides and add humor to it. Thank you so much for watching, Nunu. Um, I also like to see your HD gameplay. Thank you, man. I'm glad to hear that. What do you think? What will be the next U4 DLC about? I know what the next U4 is going to be about. Do you know that there are many common words in Turkish and Romanian? I know, yeah. Like, uh, Hayduk. I'm uh, betting the next two DLCs will be Iceland and Greenland one. No. Didn't you say Alliance of the North was going to be the last DLC? Was what changed? It was going to be the last one, but they have to fill the gap between EU4 and EU5. So they're using content packs to fill that gap until EU5 comes out. And um, it's going to be in a while, EU5 that comes out. And until that, you're going to get a Middle East DLC and another one afterwards to fill that gap basically and it's going to be just missions that's it maybe some small te tweaks here and there but mainly missions have you ever considered playing factorio i don't think i've ever played it that's very low gdp 500 million he's not dedicating his economy to the construction industry i mean considering that I've got 187 on the plus, and I'm not in default. I'm not on the minus, so I'm not taking credit. Obviously, I'm not tryharding here, am I? I'm glad to see that there is already a tryhard community for the Viki3. For Viki3. Because you are an inspiration to a lot of other YouTubers. I'm glad to hear that. And yes, I guess so. I don't know, maybe. Did you ever speak with PDX employees? Yeah, I have uh, PDX, a lot of people that work for PDX. I have as friends, close friends now. We've been talking for a long time. People that work on E4 as well. Um, they should skip releasing E5 and just release U6. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Lower taxes. There you go. Make people happy. I guess, yeah. Let's go kill these guys here. Freaking Russians, bro. What the fuck? Does not have market access? What? Okay, that's just weird. All right, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I fucked it up. How the hell is it still so expensive, bro? What the hell? Um. Let's go build some more barracks as well. I'm going to need a few more. I don't know, like 10, 20, 30, 40. I don't oh, shit. I don't have peasants here. Oh, crap. Where did I build? Uh. Okay, that's bad. Oh, I got to cancel all of those, don't I? No. Oh, shit. All right, uh, let's build the uh, barracks in provinces where we actually have population. So that is here. Here, here, and here. All right, cool. Okay, cool. I forgot to change the steam donkey. We need some more motor industries as well. Um, 
Oh shit, way too many. Way, way too many. Let's go ahead and cancel a few of those. Where my motor's at. Take 20 for now. Naval battle happened. Where? Do you say uh, Pondicherry? How do you say Pondicherry? I found your channel with Vicky3 content. I gotta say, every day when I wake up, I hope uh, for a new Vicky3 video on your channel. Oh, thank you so much, Harris. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, bro. I'm really glad to hear that. I'm glad to see that people, you know, come for different games, not just one particular game. I'm glad to see you like Vicky3. I, I am really enjoying Vicky3 as well, so. Like, use your authority for more qualifications and build universities. Uh, yeah, let me check my university problem here. Oh, yeah, I need to build more. I need to build them all. There you go. There you go. Come on. Kill them already. Kill them with fire. Take them out. Sick, sick. Take them out. Oh, no, no, no. What the fuck? How are these guys winning? Oh man, are you shitting me? Just piss off Russia. Wait, what? What the fuck just happened? I'm so confused right now. Did I not just ask them for me to annex Russia, to annex Uga Bugo? What? Why did they annex that? I'm so fucking confused. What? No, I didn't surrender. I proposed terms. My... What? No fucking way. No shot. Nope. It was on my side, bro. He was capitulating to me. I had 22 on the plus. What the fuck is that? They had that before the war? No fucking way they had that. No way they had that the whole time? When did they get there? I didn't even fucking see them there. Oh shit, you're right, dude. They did have this. What the fuck? How the fuck? When did they get this? Damn. I need to attack him for that. I need that. Please don't tell me you crashed. Oh no, I didn't. Hold up sick. Mm. We build the army, right? Yeah, let's build the more textiles. I think that was an issue as well. Let's see. Where do we get a lot of peeps? We got peeps in French Buenos Aires. Let's go with that. Let's go with uh, 30 there. And another 20 in Corsica, Patagonia, 30. We haven't really built in the colonies that much, to be fair. We got to start doing that. Speaking of, we got to start expanding in the colonies. Let's go with this. Forgot about this area completely. All right, now you would do me a massive favor if you called in Chile. Please call in Chile, Argentina. Do it, Argentina. Call in Chile. Do it, Argentina. You can do it, Argentina. Do it, do it, do it, Argentina. Call in Chile, Chile, call in Ch -ch Chile. All right, let's liberate the more 
stuff from the English. And by liberate, I mean just, you know, give to me. British Rise is 130. 28 for Canada. We have... Russia owning the whole time. It was best strat. Some mercenaries who don't uh, speak the name. The biggest uh, challenge in this game is that there is so much going on. Last update improved late game slowed down a lot, but it's still bad. I seem to get a, uh, more crashes now. My best try to World Conquest was a Super Germany formed by Prussia. In 1900, I had all Europe and Africa, but game was so laggy that it was crashing every 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah, that happens in the late game, sadly, Jackie. I appreciate the BYN5. I don't even know where that is from. I'm not going to bullshit. I don't know where that is from. It's okay if you reload, Ludi. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. No need to reload. I will reload if I need it, but it's fine. We're, we're okay now. Um, let's transfer Canada from them. Canada, please. Thank you. Now piss off. Now piss off. I'm English scum. Uh, open market for the British. Yep. Fuck you, Britain. We're going to destroy your markets by opening them. Alrighty. I could just do this from here, like a smart person. Alright. I'm gonna need one more general in the French region. And this guy, I'm gonna have to promote a little bit too. Otherwise, all the other guys are gonna hog everything there. Let's go ahead and take this. Oh, their English are setting all their troops here, actually. Ludi be like, I wouldn't say freed, more like under new management. <laughs> True. As always, love Ludi game. Hey, what's up, Christ? Ludi, greetings from Eswatini. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Eswatini, my boy. Wait, what? The fuck is this? Why? Oh, Chili joined. Fuck yeah. Oh, I don't have more. Oh, no. I don't have any more freaking maneuvers. I could have puppeted Chili too. Oof. Damn. Big dum dum. Big dum dum on my side, boys. All right, let's get more iron and more coal. Beauty Flefleul. I'm going to lose a lot of stuff in Africa, sadly, but I'm going to navally invade them in, in Great Britain afterwards. So we should be able to make up for that. Champagne, Aquitaine, and Brittany. Oh, we're missing a uh, governing capacity there. Okay. Brittany, let's go five. Champagne, let's go three. And Picardy, three. Let's also do more of this in Picardy. That Picardy is massive. Holy shit. How many people we got in there? Picardy. Three million people in Picardy. That makes a lot of sense now. How many French do we have? 26 million plus 10. Okay, 10. Fair, fair. All right, let's go. Vin the battle, please. Oh, Bolivia's in this as well. Hello, Ludi. Last time, time without. Hello, Ludi. Time without seeing you. Oh, what's up, Phoenix? Yeah, man, it's been a while. How you been? Free trade is bad. Yes, free trade fucks you up. You don't get any tariff money, so you basically give people stuff that they need without taking anything for yourself. Oof. Need oil. Actually, there's no oil sold anywhere. Fuck. That's bad. It's actually really bad. This is really bad. All right, we're winning. We're winning. You should have taken Canada. I did take Canada, did I not? Yeah, I did. Transfer Canada, bro. What are you talking about? 
forming Omega Germs as Prussia is super easy with no AE at all. And from my perspective, best world conquest. Uh, did you do it as uh, Austria? You can do it as Austria in like five years forming Mega Germany, by the way. You can do it as Prussia too, but it's a little bit more difficult. How do I get my dad to buy me Victoria 3? You don't. How old are you, uh, CMTG? How old are you, bro? If you're old enough, it's better if you work for it. Get a part-time job. The moment that you say, how do I get my dad to buy this for me? If you're like nine, I understand. That's fine. But if you're 14, get a job. It's going to help you out a lot in life, by the way. Because learning responsibility and the value of money early on makes you a good person. Not necessarily makes you a good person. It makes you more aware of everything going on around you. It makes you appreciate what people go through just to get by, you know? Say so you want to study Victorian era economics. <laughs> How do you raise the standard of living? Uh, make sure people have affordable goods. So, for example... You go here and you can see what they're paying extra for. So my people here are paying a lot more for opium, electricity. Oh, shit. I need to increase the electricity then. Sugar, oil, and fine art. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. I need to do that. Okay. That's easy to fix. Um, let's go for this. All right. So we're going to do fine art. Uh I don't like fucking 10, 5, 10, yeah. And electricity, right? Yep. There you go. That's how we're going to increase our standard of living by building those particular buildings that we need. And we need engines because we just changed that. Uh... There you go. No, not Patagonia. We're going to have to change that to somewhere else. I'll cheers. I'm going to cancel the one in Patagonia because we already have too much shit here. We wouldn't have enough population if we kept it. All right, cool. Vicky three moment child labor allowed when I was 14 I was obsessed with money is it worth to have progress while losing authority uh, yeah it could be especially if it's temporary it's definitely worth it um, oil rigs nothing shit oil is my bane boys Oil is my bane. Oh, we won. Nice. Hey, we got Argentina, boys. Nice. All right, let's invade the other boys now. Mm. Where's my armies at? For real. Losing a bunch of money because of the engine shortage right now. So I'm going to do the smart thing and ask for more engines. <laughs> no, 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 okay. Not yet. And... Yeah, I'm going to need more engines and electricity. Should have uh, thought about this before. Should have queued up a few more. Come on, Chili, get out. 
what CPU do you have? I have a i9 something, 9,700 some shit, I think. It's a good computer. I got the computer last year. Really good computer. There you go. Fuck off, Chile. Now, who's left? Bolivia. Oh, shit. They're in here. For real? Say Chile. Bolivia. Uh, okay. Let's go with um, some naval invasions first. Let's say we go invade Britain itself here. Boom. We do a second invasion over here. Boom. Then we get these guys. You over here. Come here. And we get this guy over here. We're going to put him where? In here. And this one's going to take the New Zealand parts. Nice. Cool. Cool, cool. Electricity die. Okay. Die plantations. see how these are going I wish you could at least see them on the map with some shit you know it's like the naval system needs a lot of rework I'm gonna do any achievements on the channel would like to see how to get the harder ones done on uh, Viki 3 yeah I will for sure how did you get almost 6 million GDP in this run I'm, I, I don't have 6 million I have 592 here you think English is the most OP nation or French France by far how is your game so fast? Mine is super slow. I don't know. I probably got a better computer than you. I'm not flexing or anything. I'm just saying. All right. This is the beauty about naval invasions, right? So we absolutely crushed the English in their homeland, which means we're getting a lot of war, war score because they were busy fighting us in freaking Africa and losing all of their units to attrition. <laughs> That's what I like to call a sneaky. Did you pull a sneaky, Ludi? Mm-hmm. I did. <laughs> Didn't know you stream on YouTube? Hey, what's up, Palm Tree? Was that not you earlier with the 100 bucks donation? Damn. I thought that was you, Paradoxa. You have the same identical profile picture. You can use authority to tax consumption services for me and my German playthrough gives me 500k. Yes, for sure my services give around that much too. 157. Nah, it's not 500. It's close. There's a few that we can do. Oh, actually clothes. Wow, holy shit. Not bad. Oh, shit. Gotta build stuff. Mm. Let's go with... Do we have gold? No, I don't think so. Let's go with sulfur. I think it was one, one of the things that we needed. Yeah, we maxed out. Let's go with iron. No, I think I need to prioritize some other things first. Uh, what was it? Hello. What happened? You are sick. Hmm, is that cat or wife, guys? What do you think? I have cat in my room. You have cat? Meow. Interesting. 
very interesting you need to cat. Find where it moved off. I am. I need your mother here. What? Hello. Actually, this is fixed when I do this. I just need more electricity afterwards. Oh, I just got Canada from the uh, British. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Cat mute, you have a cat? <laughs> Remove automatic irrigation from your tea plantation as they are probably not profitable. You think? Let's check. By the way, guys, if you have advice about the game, don't hesitate to tell me. Um, why is France a light blue? Palm tree, that's because we changed our government. We're uh, a presidential republic now. We're not a monarchy anymore. Yeah, I was saying that, don't hesitate to t tell me advice if you have. I'm not like those kind of people that, you know, like, oh, don't backseat the game, bro. It's okay. I'm not, like, I don't know everything about the game, so I'm sure that if you say something, maybe I'll learn something as well. Or if I don't, that's fine. I'll just make fun of you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I will. Hello from Denmark. Hey, what's up, Dane Lord? Yeah, let's check our uh, irrigation. Let's check this. Yeah, 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 let's see. You might have a point there, actually. No, it's going to be profitable. It's like this because um, motors are really expensive. So I just need to build more motors. That's pretty much it. Steel is expensive. Oh, fuck. I forgot to build steel. Like, I haven't built steel in a while, have I? Not really. Oh, you got communists. Um, Automatic power loom. Oh, I need electricity, too. Oof. Need a little bit of everything, really. Um, also need more bureaucracy. Need to get that education to level 5, so... Let's do that now. Let's see what my politics looks like. Institution. Oh, right. So I just need 442 bureaucracy. I can get a level 5. That would be perfect. I probably want to get mortality at minus 20 as well. And then focus on the rest, I guess. Don't tell me the fucking game crashed. No, it didn't. Go commie. Go communist. Socialismo. Damn man, you built that economy. Hey, Ludi, I love watching your videos. Thank you. Thanks for what you do. Got a question. Colonization seems pretty self-explanatory, but how does it really benefit players? Never played Vicky, just E4. Venix says, colonization is basically expanding without any actual debuff. So it's like the best thing ever because by doing colonization, you get lands all around the world. So you get the population from these lands. Like I got 1 million population in Buenos Aires from simply colonizing it. Not only do I get the population, which is really important in a Viki 3, but it also means that I get the resources from here. So like here, for example, I got logging camps, fishing wharfs. Here I got sulfur and coal. And if you don't colonize... In order to get these resources, the only other way is to conquer other countries, which in Viki 3 is actually really not that easy. So, um, colonization is really good. Highly recommend it. It's one of the best things you can do. Go colonial earlier, the better. Even if you don't start as a colonial nation, make yourself a colonial nation. Like for example, here, look at this. This is a colony, right? I got 7 million GDP, 1 million population from just this co K Kenya colony. Same thing here, 8.8 .8 million GDP, 1 million population from Zanzibar. 8 million from this Lindy. Holy fuck, that's a lot, right? Just from the colonies right there. Hey, what's up, Samzi? You ever consider giving Rome Total War a try? Yeah, I saw the remastered. I might do a video on Rome Total War. I It's like my first strategy game. I obviously really enjoyed the game, so. And free manpower, exactly, yeah, free manpower, free everything, essentially. 
Romanian colonist empire. Yes, sir. We're not doing too bad, are we, GDP-wise? What the fuck is happening with the game? We got 600 million GDP. Second afterwards is um, Qing with 200. Yeah, it's not bad. Guys, I'm going to call it quits, though, because uh, my wife wants me to go to sleep. And it's like 1.30 a.m. almost, 1.21. So, yeah. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, Paradoxa or Palm Tree, I'm not sure if it's the same person. Thank you so much for the $100. And thank you, everybody else, for all the donations. So, and for just chilling and hanging out with me. It really means a lot. And, um, yeah. I'll see you in a few days. I'll stream on Twitch in a couple of days. That's going to be my next stream. And we'll continue this. So, we'll do this. And also, um, I... We'll have a video out tomorrow or day after on here. So, hope you guys have a great time, great day. Remember to be good people. There's a lot of horrible people out there. And, um, you know, it's good to make somebody's day sometime. It's good for you too. You'll feel better, trust me. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye-bye, everybody.